Okay. Give it a minute. Say good morning to everybody. Move my pencils. Move my pencils over. <laughs> Got a couple new books, of course. So I got my list of things to show on IG and we'll get started. Hi, Debbie. How you doing? I was just looking at things uh, to put, tell you, talk about on IG and um, let's see. Uh, One second. One second. Uh, I got to answer this. Then I'm looking up everybody. Okay, um, let's see. Tori, I see Raul, Julianne, Terry Brett. Looking, looking, Debbie Bruce, good morning. You should have mail, Debbie. <laughs> Maybe today. Um, let's see, Annie Tanner. Who else? Hermie, Hermie, Yvonne Manuel, Manuel. Who else? Look, scrolling, scrolling. Linda Rance, Pamela Kane. There's Janet. Good morning. Hope you had a good weekend, Janet. These cats are like they just run through the house fighting, well, tumbling and hissing. <laughs> They're in a mood this morning. I have to go break them up here in a minute, probably. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> So let me go over to IG and get that because I want to show, you know, y'all like Terry has a couple of uh, prompts done. And then I want to sh shout out another person I just found and they have a YouTube channel too. <clears throat> so anyway, um, then we'll see what we'll do today. I thought maybe we could get some inspiration from this National Gallery of Art book. It's a Mama Jamba. <laughs> um, we went to the little library. We went by the little library bookstore, and I got a couple of things. There's Aunt, the Aunt Beck. I picked something up for you, <laughs> just like I picked up something for Mary a couple weeks ago. So hang on a minute. Uh, let's see. Gabriella, uh, Annie Tanner, Dawn. If I'm missing you, I, you know, don't, uh, I'm not trying to, <clears throat> but this chat does grow by fast. So I got this, was one of the books that I found at the library, and all hardbacks are $2. <laughs> I thought this was a good deal. $2 for this. So I thought we'd look through, maybe get some ideas, some inspiration. Um, it's fun to take art, you know, like, I don't say I was gonna say ancient, but it's not ancient. Uh, famous artists and try to you know do little bits and practice, like you might try to draw her lips, or you might like this fabric, or you might like the combination of tan and black. You know, you can kind of mind map out a little bit. So <laughs> you know, some portraits and art from famous artists in the past. Well, it's not really vintage. It's famous artists from the past, you know, throughout history. Historical art. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. Uh, hi. Um, oh, I said hi to Tori. Let's see in my world. Ancient artists. <laughs> Janet. Hi, Ann Makes. Let's see. Kathleen. So, yeah, I got some pictures to show. And, and, um, and I also, <clears throat> the girl that I'm going to shout out, I found on IG. And I've seen, and I've even done it before years, you know, years ago. I, I did a few of the Pantone challenge where you do a, 
a Pantone color challenge. Well, she was doing it. Apparently she's been doing it for a little bit and uh, she has a YouTube channel. So I'll shout her out. And um, so I thought, you know, I'd pull a couple cards. If somebody wants to try the Pantone challenge postcard challenge. Um, I did just so I mean, um, matte medium this one i don't have any clear gesso she uses clear gesso to coat it because you know they are shiny let's see let me get one that's see they are shiny and so you know if you just try to paint on it it probably will scratch off it still may scratch off with i don't know we're gonna i'm gonna test one and um but she uses clear gesso i could not find my clear gesso anywhere i got some around here i just don't ever use it you know i have all these finnebear different gessos like I got the heavy gesso, I got every I got the black gesso. I cannot find the clear gesso. It's around here somewhere. But anyway, um, that's what she uses. So we'll maybe play with that. Hi, Barbara. Pam, I, did I say that? Pamela B. Hi, Amor Fabrics. I get to enjoy your live today. Okay. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you for uh being here. Did you see the uh did you see where I finished the um quilt journal cover with the gussets did you see that i'll show it to you if you haven't seen it and uh so anyway we'll just have art inspiration we can talk pins we can talk you know pantone challenge we can talk you know anything y'all want <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am working on a new Barbie challenge. I'm not going to, or Barbie photography. It's a challenge for me. This one's a real challenge for me. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is because, you know, I don't want to, I just don't want to yet because it may take a while. And when I start talking about something, I feel like I have to hurry up and finish it. And I don't want to have to hurry up and finish this. So <clears throat> I don't want to, uh, I, I won't tell y'all what it is yet. So. I don't know where Rachel is this morning, but Rachel, here's your morning lemon water ASMR. <laughs> mm. You have it? Okay. No, no, no. No, no. I'll show it. I'll show it, um, um, Selena. I will show it. I love to hear about your garden. Uh, well, I don't know what there's to really say about it. <laughs> I'll show the pictures. Um, let me show you the... Um, so. You know, you sent me you sent me these extra pieces of fabric. So here's my little cover. I I use the buttons you sent me. I look. I mean, I think I did good. I even sewed a buttonhole. <laughs> now I gotta remember I sew all this by hand, people. All this is by hand, but I like it to look that way. Just like my little prayer pouches, <coughs> I like them to look handmade. And trust me, they do. <laughs> So, yeah, so now I can make a, uh, you know, the journal can be as fat as I want it because it's got gussets. <laughs> so thank you for sending me those extra pieces, Selena. So, yeah, I, I put those in and then I sewed and you can you can take the button off of either side. And I just kind of flapped it over and I used those buttons you sent in one of the kits. <laughs> so there's the little pouch that can expand you know it can expand as much as you want it to but anyway this one's for my aunt Edie <laughs> she's an actual quilter I have a the most beautiful Mary Inglebright quilt that she had quilted for my mom because mom loved Mary Inglebright too and um, <clears throat> so I inherited mom's Mary Inglebright quilt. Oh my gosh. It's, it, my Aunt Edie is literally a professional quilter. So she'll laugh, she'll giggle. She will giggle at my uh, stitching, the blanket stitch, my buttonholes. <laughs> so thank you, Selena, for sending me those extra pieces of fabric. Let's see. Uh, Barbie pulled one. No, no, no. I'm not going to tell you what it is, Ro. I'm not going to tell you what the Barbie photography uh, is going to be because I want to work on it and not be pressured to hurry up and get it done. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Thank you, Debbie. Um, 
yeah so the journal can fit in there you know and i don't know that she's even knows ever heard the word junk journal before so i'll put a little note in there and i gotta add some more of the papers that you know were in the kit in the uh folder kit if y'all missed it i have it right here because i'm still working on it i'm working on it so this was the one of the kits that i got from selena a more fabric and this, this sold me on it. I love this uh, anagliptic, I think is how you say it, wallpaper. She made these little pouches. But look, she sewed on uh, with a sewing machine. <laughs> these little, um, you know, uh, embroidery pieces. And, uh, and then it had all these different papers to make a junk journal. Well, actually, I'm making two. So um, I'm going to continue to add some more of this junk journal papers to that. One for my Aunt Edie and the other one that I want to really make. I really want to give, do a giveaway with it, but I'm not near done yet. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Hi, Chicken Pot Pie Society and Lar. And uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> I got some pictures to show. I went to the library. Um, it's not my library. It's one down south of us, but they have a bookstore in there. Well, you know, it's just a little room. It's a little annex off the, the main when you walk in, but it's pretty full and it, you know, rotates all the time. People donate things all the time and then they sell, you know, their, the paperbacks are a dollar, hardbacks are two and that's their rule. That's it. So uh, I did buy a couple of books and, um, and I did get something for Aunt Beth. So anyway, um, when I see something, I think of somebody, I think it's just meant to buy, you know, I need to get you hooked on a, so I have, I, I did buy one, a little tiny one from Walmart. My, my mom and grandma both had sewing machines. I gave them all, you know, when grandma passed away, mom got them. When mom passed away, I gave them to Samantha because Samantha, my, you know, boo, she's in college. <coughs> she does use them. She does sew. She makes things. She even made me some Barbie clothes for um, Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember. So she made me Barbie clothes. I mean, she's so she has all the sewing machines in the family. I I got me a little, just a little tiny one, just to like do hemming and just some straight stitching. Nothing fancy. I just wanted to do some plain stitching to, you know. Uh, make some Barbie clothes is really all I got it for. Thank you, Tina. Let me click on that. There's a more fabrics Etsy shop and you can also find her under that same name on YouTube and she has daily deal. Not well, she has deals. She calls them daily deals, but they're not every day. But when she has those daily deals, that's when you need to head over, especially head over to her uh, Etsy and get some deals. And I did tell y'all about, I don't know if she still has the thing. She told, she had it a couple weeks ago. And I told y'all about if you bought two kits, she gave you, she threw in that uh, uh, trims. So, yeah, but be watching her channel. She, and her prices are just so good, guys. So, let's see. Hi, Shelly. Okay, so I got a couple things. Oh, thank you, Tina. I haven't seen Pacola yet this morning. She, I don't know if she's still, you know, she's going to be here off and on because, you know, her husband's retiring. They plan on traveling. She's going to have company. So we'll just, you know, give her big hugs anytime she does come in. Um, <clears throat> okay. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of shout outs on, on uh, Instagram for those that uh, did the challenges. And Terry Brett's been doing them a lot. And so has Rachel. I think Rachel, I have hers are, she's been trying to do them on Instagram. Bless her. <laughs> she's mostly messaging them to me. But she did. Um, so for those, I don't know. I, I want to show this picture that she did a Christopher, but I got to ask her permission. She probably will let me. It looks just like him to me, but let's wait and see if she wants me to show it. But she did do a Jiminy Cricket at your service. <laughs> these are Rachel's. She said she messaged me these. And um, let's see, maybe she did put something on IG because I'm not seeing some of the ones I saw of hers. Let's look. Um, no, that I don't know where I saw the other ones. She has been putting some things on IG, but I think it might be a little bit struggle for her to get those uploaded. 
So if I see her, we'll ask her if I can show you the picture she drew of Christopher Runciman. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go over to Terry Brett. If y'all want any, um, if y'all want some prompts, if y'all want the three prompts, let me know. <clears throat> I have them here to pull. So if anybody wants three prompts. Hi, Mirkwood. How you doing? Let's see. Pixie Cora. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to look away from chat for a second to find Terry here. All right. So she did a couple different ones. So the three on this one, the three prompts were Squid, Mouse, and Japan. That's what we pulled. And so she's got this um, this uh, squid holding a sign, Japan's finest seafront restaurant, today's special squid soup. <laughs> and the little mouse is going, hurry up, they'll be back soon. I think she's trying to help him get away. <laughs> but look, she's, she's really been so imaginative. Terry, you've just been really rocking these three prompts. Okay, I'll give you three more, Terry. She's been rocking these three prompts, really doing so for her and Rachel both. Okay, then this one, Owl, Flowers, and Lemon. Okay, so she wrote a little poem. Okay, so she's got the owl, the flowers, and the lemon down there. Look at this. And she wrote a little poem. It says, a wise old owl sat in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? <laughs> it's probably a little rhyme from back when, but I, I love that. I love that, Terry. Uh, oh, good, Mirkwood. Okay. Let's see. Who else am I missing? I'm just loving them and finding them. Oh, good. Well, because I do challenge you, right, Terry? <coughs> they do they do challenge you and you're just really doing awesome then i gotta show you um let me go over to search here and so my grandson out in la y'all know he is in wrestling and he was in the whole california state wrestling thing champion thing it was like let me see let me go show you the picture of the whole stadium you'll see how big it is let's see if i can find it here no oh, so why do i lose her pictures all the time or her videos maybe i should just look under videos okay so here's some pictures of him wrestling but i want you to see how big this stadium is oh, there we go this one i think she's pans on this one there he is down there in red but look how big this place is. It's all a it's the whole California wrestling um, champion. Oh, I thought she panned in this one. Maybe it's not in this one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here. I think it's this one. Here we go. Look how big this arena is for the wrestling championship. So all these thousands of people that were participating. And out of thousands of people... He came in sixth. So I thought that was awesome. So let me show you the pictures here. Um, so he came in sixth. Let's see. I think I've saved him in my photos. Yeah, so here he is talking with his coach. And there he is right there getting ready to, you know, wrestle somebody. So, yeah, really proud of him. Go, Logan. And he's also the one that plays the guitar. That I've, you know, try to show y'all a little bit of him playing the guitar. <clears throat> I know, right, Tina? I thought that was amazing. So, I think he won, like, the first two rounds. And then the third round, I think, you know, it's, it's the whole state. It's got to be tough, right? The whole state. So here he is. Um, there he is with the sit top one, two, three, four. Yeah, the top six right there, I think. So, yeah, real proud of him. So go, Logan. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. I know. Um, let's see. What else do I have here? Uh, pictures. Um, I did post pictures uh, for the community tab new books in the community tab so go look at those i posted uh botany ones today every every monday i try to post 
one to three books on the community tab, which I cannot see on my iPad. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I don't see Devin here right right now. Right yet. I don't see Devin here right yet. <laughs> But Devin did an awesome video over the weekend showing um, one of her journals. I think it was this weekend. And then also, let me go over here. Let me go find Devin. She did, uh, she showed, well, this, she posted this uh, when she, like overnight. She posted this. So go follow Devin Rex for art and then. Here's her journal flip, and she did a whole video on it. So go follow Devin Rex for art on YouTube, and it's an amazing journal. She really did awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I know it is a lot. He works hard at it, too. He works really hard at it, you know working out and, you know, weight training and all that. Okay. Let's see what else is on my, okay. So the other person that I, that I saw, I found just came and popped up on um, my IG is let me go over here. Hang on guys. If I miss you and seeing you in chat, don't yell at me. Colorful with a U. I think she's in, she lives in the UK. Um, colorful. Mystique M. There she is. I think that's it. Okay. So, Colorful Mystique with a Q and a, and a U. Colorful with a U. And um, she's uh, apparently she was, I don't know if she's retired or she her job is an aerospace engineer, but uh, she also has a YouTube channel. And her name, you, you got you find her on YouTube with her name. Ah. Uh, Hang on, let me go back. There, I clicked. I accidentally touched my face. Uh, G E E T H U. G Jithu, Jithu. <clears throat> but if you look her up by that, you'll find her on YouTube. Or you could go to Instagram and then tack over to YouTube. <clears throat> but anyway, she's doing the she's doing the um, Pantone challenge. And uh, the Pantone postcard challenge. I think that's, let's see what the hashtag is. Pantone challenge. But you use these postcards that you can buy on Amazon. And I've had a couple of different sets over the years. And I thought if y'all want, if you're willing to try one, I will send you one. You can pick a color. Now, I'm not going through every single color. You can generalize. Pink, purple, yellow. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go through the hundred cards and let you pick one. I, I'm just going to have to give me a general color. But here's some of the ones she's done. They she, Like, here's a yellow one. I don't know if this is the exact same one. But, he, like, you, she started with this, right? You start with the plain color. And then you have to have some part of the color still remain. But here's what she did. That's a painting. That's painting on there. Painting lemons, the sea, the car. These are paintings that she's done. And she also um, does Skillshare and she's on YouTube. So she's a watercolor arts. I think she did these in gouache. But she pay, she I I went and looked her up to see what how she what she did with these. And she I used I just put some matte medium on mine because I could not find my clear gesso. But she does she does put clear gesso on them and then does the gouache. I think these are all done in gouache. <clears throat> Aren't those awesome? Um let's see. I know I'm missing uh oh thank you, Tina. There's the there's her YouTube channel. <coughs> and there's her IG. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Tina's on it this morning. Um, I can hear you. Okay. All right. Well, hang on back. If you can stay for a couple minutes, I got, I bought you a book at the library sale at the library bookstore. No big, it's not a big thing. It's kind of like, you know, how I got married, that folk art one. Well, when I saw this one, I thought of you. <coughs> so I'll show it in a second. So anyway, um, thanks, Tina. So I pulled some postcards because we're doing, you know, we're doing all the different challenges and prompts and the questions. And if y'all want any other kind of, uh, 
you know, we have questions. We have Kyla Give Hands cards for mixed media. This is the question chat box if you want a question. And then the, we try to read out the book every week. Um, and then the bag of prompts. So let me stop real quick because Terry did say she wanted three. So let me pull a little stack. So I'm going to mix, mix, mix as best I can. I got a couple hundred in here. And it seems like we still end up with some of the same ones. But I do try to mix them as best I can so we get different ones. And then I'll pull a little stack. I'll pull a little stack to last us for the day. Okay, I got a little stack. I just pull off the top. So we're good to go for, if anybody wants three, I'll have them handy. And then I put the, the three, I like the three I'm going to pull for Terry Brett. <coughs> then I set those aside so nobody else gets them that day. Hi, Jane. Um, hi. Hi, Arlene. How you doing? What a cool idea for the postcards. Yes. And you don't, you know, it, this has been around for a while. It's been around for a few years. I think I did a couple of them back before the virus, uh, but I didn't do a lot with them. I think I did two or three, and I don't even know where the two or three that I did, they're not in here. So I don't even know where I put the ones that I did. But I did a, I did matte medium one because I couldn't find my clear gesso. So we'll do a test on this to see if it, if I put acrylic paint uh on here or gouache we'll just we'll just do a test with different color strips and then if you if somebody wants one then i will send you one but try to really do it don't just just don't just say oh just send me one and you're not even going to try to do it okay really really try if you if you're not going to try don't ask for one okay all right terry brett here we go <clears throat> eggs dominoes and any sport there you go, Terry. I can I already imagine something with this. Oh, Terry probably does too. <laughs> so there you go, Terry. Eggs, dominoes, and any sport. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh no. Oh, Anne. Okay, Ann. I saw I saw her in chat, Aunt Beck. Get well quick, Ann. Get get well quick. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna set these aside. And if anybody else wants them, I got the stack here. Whoops. Let's let's put that on the bottom because now I showed that. So I got a little stack here. So if anybody wants three prompts today during the day, just let me know and I will uh, pull you three. Okay, Ann. Oh, Ann. Big hugs, Ann. You need some happy mail. Three for you, Raul. Okay, Raul. Here we go. Narwhal sand and blank so you can put in whatever you want okay narwhal sand and whatever a blank okay there you go so that roll now when i pull these for you don't feel like you have to hurry up and do these you do them as you want and i, I mean uh, and sorry i got and now in my mind um <clears throat> terry brett seems to do them fairly quickly <laughs> But, you know, just, but when you do post them on Instagram, put the, put the, what cards you got, you know, put the cards you got. So we know what you based your drawing, poem, whatever it is you do, whatever you based them off, just put the three, you know, and if you, if you uh, tag me, then I'll, I can find you easy enough to talk about your, your post on the following stream. All right. So those are for all. Ooh. Okay, set those aside. So I got them sitting here if anybody wants any. All right, so <clears throat> now on to, and we'll do this here in a minute, you know, the, the Pantone card challenge. And you can get these on, on a, uh, Amazon. The whole box is about, it's about 20 bucks. And I have a couple sets of them. So this is one I've worked out of before. So I th said I'll give some of these away and we'll practice on that. So, but go follow, um, go follow the um, colorful mystique, and it's colorful with the U. If you don't put the U in there, you're going to get somebody else. So you have to put colorful, C O L O U R, colorful mystique on IG, and and uh, uh, Tina put the link in a minute ago. Hi, Darlene. Let's see. I said hi to Shelly. Anybody else I might have missed? Okay, so the books I got at the line. We'll wait on this one because I want to show. Oh, baby, I know you want to get up on this table. 
I know. You can come up here for a minute if you want. You want to come up here for a minute? Come on. You want to come up here? She sat on the floor looking all forlo forlorn. But she might com come up here. I keep rubbing this sticker off. I don't know why I just thought that was a good idea. To stick my sticker on, this, on the table. But, uh, yeah, but I did. Okay, so, all right, so in case Aunt Beck can't stay, I'll show the one I got for her first. So, uh, and then I'll show, I, I only, I have a few other ones, but I didn't bring them up. Um, I just, I just pulled these four out of, I think I bought maybe 10 books um, at the library sale on Saturday. I say library sale. It's their, it's their little annex bookstore, you know, they, where they sell the donated books. Yeah, she does look forlorn. Um, oh, you, yeah, the, thank you. All right, I'll show my, let me stop real quick. I'll show my garden pictures on IG. Y'all need to follow me on Instagram. So you can see my weekly post garden pictures. I post uh, them every Sunday. Catterday is Saturday. Here's my Catterday. There's little Malibu. Catterday is, uh, Saturday is Catterday. Sunday is my garden day. So here's my garden now. And, um, I, I did take a few extra pictures. So here's some tomatoes. And I get about this much. I get about that much right now every day. You know, maybe two big tomatoes and maybe 20 cherry tomatoes and maybe two or three peppers. And this is the first bell pepper. It's a little small, but I wanted to pick a bell pepper. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so this is about what I get, you know, Every couple of days, I'll have, you know, a little harvest. So anyway, um, yeah, there's some tomatoes on the, still ripening. There's one of the peppers. There's my broccoli still growing in the middle. These broccoli, I, I only planted six and they're like this big, right? Just to get one head of broccoli. I'm not sure how long it takes for them to get fully done. I've never grown broccoli before. <clears throat> so yeah, so there's some of my. There's some of my uh, harvest. So, yeah, follow me on uh, Instagram, Inky Well with an I. But if you put in Dee Dee Willingham, I'll pop up. So, thanks, guys. I'm glad the lemur's on the desk. <laughs> leering, at, leering at Janet. Yeah. And, I, and for all those that won stickers last week, I did send all the stickers out on Thursday. I sent all... Um, I think it was, yeah, I think it was Thursday. I went to the post office and mailed all the happy mail out Thursday from Wednesday. Um, let's see. Gosh, you know, Spanish cold tomato drink. Tomato, onion, lots of veggie. I see, I personally roll. I don't like tomatoes except on a BLT. That's the only, or maybe a hamburger. You know, that's where I like a tomato. I Hubster will eat. He loves just popping those cherry tomatoes in his mouth. He loves he loves tomatoes and he'll eat those cherry tomatoes like grapes. Right. But I'm not a big fan. That broccoli is about done. They go to seed quickly. OK, well, it's only the broccoli right now is only about that big, Janet. It looks bigger in the picture because the broccoli's not the well, uh, when I say the broccoli's this big, I meant the plant. The actual broccoli is only about that big, Janet. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't make that clear. The plant is this big. The broccoli in the middle is about that big. <laughs> so it probably is not quite ready. Um, not in not not since years and years and years ago, Tina, but not any recent my you know it, this is just a little above garden you know like it's it's just an eight by eight railroad tie square garden you know built up about you know we do put new dirt every year so it's it's got 10 years worth of nice soil in it <clears throat> but uh probably longer than that i don't remember our first we didn't do the garden the first couple of years we were in this house we've been in this house over 20 years Let's see. Um, okay, so, all right, Aunt Beck, you here? <laughs> so when I saw this, but it's like that little book that I, I bought um, because I thought Mary would like it, the little uh, folk art book. Well, I saw this because you have to realize, Aunt Beck, <laughs> hi, sister, how you doing? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, okay. There's Aunt Beck. Okay. So uh, <laughs> Beck sews. She makes all kinds of, um, she makes a lot of her own clothes. She makes, she sews for the um, underprivileged girls. I forget, she'll put the name of it in there. She sews for this one group every year and makes dresses and clothes for the girls. And she just makes everything. She can sew everything. Unlike me, who has a little Walmart <laughs> sewing machine that I didn't hardly even get out to, to, to do a hem on a Barbie dress. <laughs> Anyway, so I saw this, <clears throat> How to Dress an Old Fashioned Doll. It's just a little book. and uh, But I saw it, I go, oh, I got to get this for Aunt Beck. Uh, Mary H. Morgan with 57 illustrations. Let's see. I, I, it's a Dover book, so y'all know Dover. Uh, this was published in... This, all right, this, the Dover book, the, the this Dover edition, first published in 1973, is an unabridged and unaltered republication of the work first published, and it goes on to say. So this book came out in 1973. <laughs> Hi, Shaz. And um, <clears throat> to young dressmakers, little girl. And so anyway, and then it's got a chapter, just general sewing hints. But I just thought it was so cute. And it's got all little sewing tips. And maybe maybe you can find someone that you might, some little girl that you might want to pass this on to back. But it's got little dress patterns. Look, little, little dress patterns for dolls. So very simple. That's why I thought I liked it because, you know, um, Aunt Beck does like to do, you know, keep it simple if she can. But anyway, I just thought this was so cute, Beck. So I'm going to put this in the mail to you. And uh, again, if you want to pass it on to some little girl that might want to sew, then there you go. Um, Let's see. Uh, you're almost being a strap summer dress. That would probably be really easy, Tina, if you have a sewing machine. Let's see. Hi, Pacola, my little snapdragon. Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, Beck saying those are easy to make, Tina. So, yeah, so that'll be coming to your way, Beck, because I thought of you when uh, I saw it. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, there y'all go. So, Beck's, Beck streams at noon on Wednesdays. <clears throat> So she'll be making a rag doll on her live. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Beck. You're welcome. All right. Then I got, I'm going to show this one last because this is kind of, I thought we would maybe do some little sketchy ideas, kind of like Society of Idea Collectors mind map out of it. We might do a little bit of that. And also, you know, I do want to test out, I put, uh, golden matte medium on here because i don't have any clear gesso so we'll see if that how that works on these cards and then if y'all be thinking if you might want to try one uh i showed uh <clears throat> let me go back over here to her colorful mystique on ig let's see if i can bring that up real quick here she is Again, it's colorful with the U, and here's some of the ones that she's done and she is a teacher like on skillshare has a YouTube channel. I think she did these with gouache, but maybe she did them with watercolor. But anyway, watercolor or gouache. She has she has a she's she paints this one on her YouTube channel. She might paint the other ones too, but I saw her paint this one on YouTube with gouache. Okay. So these are these start out like this. Well, the yellow one <laughs> started out like this. And then she painted those. So, yeah, I just came across. I didn't know about her till um, this morning. So I said, let's pull those out. We haven't played with these for a long, long time. So if you might want one of those, let me know, and I will send you one. Don't have, just, you know, y'all, don't ask for one if you're not even going to try. Just to make me do mail. <laughs> don't do that, okay? All right. So then the other two books that I got uh, at the light, other than this one, at the library was this big golden book of fairy tales <clears throat> and uh 
y'all know I love me some fairy tales and kids books and I do collect kids books vintage ones Annie's found me some really good ones out in LA that I have in a little collection of children's books um oh let's see I'll be back okay all right Aunt Beck let's see I'm trying to make sure Missy anybody I don't want to try I try not to miss anybody when y'all come in in the first thing in the morning is this kind of on the dark side or does it look pretty or maybe I'll brighten it up just a little there we go so um yeah this is a, a golden book and it came out in 1981 and uh so yeah you just never know what you're going to find at these library sales so I'm not going to go through everyone I'll do a flip but <clears throat> So it's got all the little fairy tales in it. Well, not all the fairy tales, but you know what I mean. A lot of fairy tales in it. So I really like the illustrations. And if you don't know where to get started and you want to try to draw something or practice something, get out a kid's book and just try it. Just try to copy it. Just try to copy something. You could use watercolor, gouache, uh, your Poscas, you know, your, whatever you have, color pencils, and just try to practice. You got to practice a lot, guys, you know. And so something like this is engaging, you know. Cameron grew up loving to draw manga, but, you know, some of you might like to practice drawing, you know, <clears throat> things like this. There's just so many ways you can practice your drawing. So I got that for $2. And I got this. I thought this was pretty cool. And it's called the Chinese Folk Design. And um, it's just it's just a whole book. I don't even know if I if it has any in here. 160 Chinese art symbols and their meanings, which I have no idea. You know, the uh, they have the they have uh, the just a one word meaning, but um, a collection of cut paper designs used for embroidery together with 160 Chinese art symbols and their meanings. Now y'all know y'all seen some of the papers me and Zandra have bought. Um, those the, they're like tissue paper thin designs. That's what these look like. But they're just they're not the cut out paper. They're just the designs. So um, yeah, but it's a whole book. Here this one's called Dragging Chase Dragon Chasing the Pearl. And uh, butterfly and flower, plum blossom, just different. This just says flower, flower, you know, butterflies, flower, and butterfly, symbol of joy and wedded bliss. So it's just, you know, it's got a little bit of, a little bit of uh, information, but not too much. Okay, Terry, all right, and I'm going to, let me go ahead and write it down as we go. And then you can tell me the color in a little bit. All right, so if you want, you know, if anybody wants a Pantone, let me write down Pantone. Um, let me know, and I'll write your name down. We'll get to it here in a little bit. So I just love this book. The whole book is all these designs. Three rabbits, a landscape, <clears throat> unicorn, shrimp and flower. But isn't this awesome? These are just awesome. I love this kind of stuff, <laughs> you know? So it's just a whole book of the, of the designs. So Phoenix, Lobster. So I can, I can imagine these on that thin tissue paper cut out. <clears throat> so Magpie. But uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then it's got some, you know, information back here about their meanings and their symbols, the animals in their zodiac. Y'all know that every year the the post um, post office puts out new stamps now for the year of whatever. Like um, last year, let's see what I got them in there. I got them. I got them put up. Year of the rabbit. Year of the dragon. The tiger. I think they've done at least three years. They might have done it more. Janet might know um, how many because uh, she she's a big post office um, postage stamp collector. Well, she was. She likes. She still likes them, but I don't know how much she actually collects them. But so anyway, trees and fruit, you know, animals, birds and insects, flowers of the seasons, you know, just different symbols. 
just different symbols. And I just thought, hey, that was pretty cool for two bucks, right? And um, then this big one, <laughs> this is this is what I thought I'd start with this morning, was looking at this book and maybe just getting a sketchbook out and just getting ideas and stuff. And then I saw the girl that did the postcards on IG, so I pulled those out this morning too and just sewed one card just to test it, you know. Because when I did mine, I just I just use craft paint. I just use acrylic craft paint on the ones that I've done, which was like two or three. That's all I've ever done of them. I wasn't really in the challenge, so to speak, some years ago. But I think it makes its rounds. It kind of comes and goes. People do the challenge for a while, and then they um, then it kind of comes and goes. All right, so Terry, um, while, I, while you're here and you asked for one, uh, what what color family do you want? You want yellows, pinks, purple, reds, blues, you know, teal, green, light green. Just give me a general idea of what color you might like, um, Terry. And then, um, again, they're kind of slick. So depending on what you want to use, like watercolor is not going to stick to this, you know. Um, you'll have to gesso it or I, I'm going to, I tried matte medium. We'll do a test with this one with different mediums to see what we can do with it. Uh, blue. Okay. You want light blue, dark blue, or teal? Light blue, dark blue, or teal? <clears throat> it was just a regular blue. Let's see. We've got a light blue in here too. It was like a um, Swedish blue. Uh, let's get a darker one. Do I have a darker one? Celestial or a light blue? I know there's some light. Oh, here we go. None. They're pretty thick. They're pretty thick. I keep thinking they're thinner than they are. Okay. What one do you want, Terry? Light blue. Is that too light? Oh, here we go. How about that one? Which one do you like better? A or B? Light, light blue, or light blue? Which one of these do you want? 656 or 277? <laughs> Which one would you like, Terry? <clears throat> Hi, Tina. <coughs> Let me get a, another sip of water. Yeah, there's a Swedish blue. <laughs> Tina's in Sweden. Uh, 277. Okay. All right. Terry. Okay. All right. So if anybody else wants one, let me know. But again, you know, please work on it. Don't just, you know. All right. So we'll set these aside for a minute. We'll get back to that. So this was the National Gallery of Art, and I think this one came out in the 80s. I think I looked at it. This was a 1984 edition, 1984. And uh, so it's the whole National Gallery of Art. So, I mean, it's huge. The book is humongous. But look at all the different art in here. It's like a little bit of everything. Well, I didn't really see a lot of modern art. Like, I didn't see any Warhol or anything like that. But it could be in here. Uh, I just didn't see it. But what's fun about a book like this is you can take your sketchbook and you can write. So this is what I do when I go to a museum. I'll write down ideas um, or write down things I see or color combinations and things like that rather than really draw. I don't sit really and draw at the museum. Because there's so much to see, you know, um, you know, and we're kind of moving through some new exhibition. Let's see. You're welcome, Terry. Hi, Ray. So what I thought I would do is pick a couple and I'll well, just get some, you know, copy paper out just to, you know, because what I really want you to y'all to do is, you know, for like the Society of Idea Collectors, when you look at things, well, let's start here. Let's start with each section here. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, do I have to figure out these uh, the centuries? This is 10, 14, 14th century. Is this the 13th through the 14th century? <laughs> I have to think of my uh, Roman numerals. And uh, so, <clears throat> well, let's just get out. A, let's get out some paper. Let's get out some paper. Let's see. Let's get let's let's get the bigger paper here. These are just some scratch papers here. I see I've torn things off here. I'll get some more out if I need to. Let's see. Copy paper is awesome. Let's get out some more copy paper here. Well, this is 11. Let's see. What is this one? Oh, I cut this down. I cut these down. These were 11 by 14. And I cut them down so that they'd fit in my <laughs> clipboard. <laughs> uh, let's see. I probably need to get a big pencil. A big pencil. 16. 16. What's the 16? Am I, what am I missing? With, oh, 16? Is it 16? Okay, yeah, 14 would be IV. So this is 16. So the 13th through the 16th. Thank you, children, <laughs> for, for letting me know. Thank you. Yeah, 16. V I V is 14. V I is 16. Okay. Thank you guys. I'm going, what are y'all doing? 16? What are y'all talking about? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find a big pencil so let's what's that general one do i have it in this little bag here or you know because and then i'll take no, i can write notes with a sharpie but uh <clears throat> let's see because i just want something that's going to show up on camera you know or i could just use a black there's just a black prisma color it's kind of waxy. I want I want a uh, what do you call it? Uh, let me look in my roll right there. It's probably right there. <clears throat> I don't do a lot of drawing with pencil. I I draw I draw with ink. You know, maybe we'll uh, just get out a ballpoint pen. Do I have one handy? <laughs> do I have a big pen handy? <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do is just get some ideas to show you how you can get ideas. Let's zoom in one. Let's see. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Of course, the book is huge, so it's going to be, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Ann Mays. I told y'all, I tell y'all the time, I am not a teacher. I am not a teacher. I can teach you things, but I am not a teacher. <laughs> I've tried to do classes before, like, you know, you, you know, you we have private classes and try to do that. I am just not a teacher. I don't have, I don't have the patience. I don't, I, there's a lot of skill sets that teachers have that I don't have. <laughs> I know, I know my lane. <laughs> Oh, okay. So let's see. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. So put it in caps, guys, if you're talking to me. If you don't put it in caps and I don't see you, don't get mad at me. And, e and even if I miss you with caps, because the chat does roll pretty quick. All right. So what I kind of wanted to do, let me see, find some. All right, here we go. This one right here. This one's kind of big so that y'all can see. All right. So this is obviously um, the fish, Jesus and the fisherman and uh, the net, but I want you to look at not, not even necessarily so much the theme. You can look at whatever you want, but what occurs to you when you see something like this? And uh, let's see, is that going to show up? See, I, I need, I probably need something that's going to be, I don't really want to draw with a Sharpie, you know, that's kind of, yeah, I can't really, well, I can, but, um, but maybe I can write notes. 
Okay, so like when I first look at this, I'll just tell y'all what I see when I look at this stuff. And then you, then y'all will find another one and you can tell me what you see. But if you just do this, let's just copy paper, um, a pencil or whatever you like to sketch with and whatever you like to write with. Now, normally I don't write with a Sharpie. I'll write with a pen that's like this, you know, this small. What, how I take notes now sometimes if i'm in a hurry i'll write a little bigger but i write pretty small generally speaking but when i'm on stream i'm gonna write with a sharpie so you can see it on the camera right so you do you know write with your oh becky i gotta show i gotta show becky's cat and tina i think just messaged me and said she got her happy mail and um yay tina i sent a whole bunch of happy mail out last uh Let's see, for uh, Thursday, whatever day it was, Thursday. Okay, let me see. I think it was, is it Becky Calora? Calora one. Okay, but look at her cat. <laughs> look at her cat or day picture. Oh my gosh. I love this picture. I love this, Becky. <laughs> that just rocks right there. Hi, Leona. <laughs> I love it. Here, let's zoom in a little bit on the face. Look at that look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, all right. So, when I, if I was just looking at this, saw it in a museum. Now, this does look kind of like, and I, I haven't read it. You know, I could read up on the information. Um, but this kind of looks like, almost like um, illuminated letters and illuminated pieces that have gold in them that just looks like gold but the first thing I notice is the red I notice that there's the red and if you notice like it's kind of like a triangle of red one two three these are just again this is more about just observing things you're not really trying to do something here this is like you know collecting your ideas observing things <laughs> yeah she is Becky and um so you know i noticed that the, the the red triangle compositionally you know and again i don't know what this artist was thinking i don't know i, I don't know you know i'm just noting what i'm i'm seeing let's see who's texting me now is this my family <clears throat> they should know better i don't know who it is okay so um i noticed look at the fish Again, I would not be writing this big. So I could get a lot of information in one square. I might draw a square and just write what information I got in there. I might put, you know, I just, I might sketch the boat or, you know, and I might ask the question uh, again. I want to switch hands to write smaller. But, um, you know, what, and I know that these probably, this kind of boat was probably not in the first century. I don't know. I don't know. But what boat um uh what's the word i'm looking for the boat the history of the boat that type of boat boat era i'll just put that because i'm not thinking of what you know <laughs> what i want um but look at can you see the little fish and this is going to get hard to maneuver because this book weighs 20 pounds see all the little fish so what i think this is cool about this is and again i'm writing huge here i could get all the information i'm going to put on here in in a small area if i wrote you know with my normal pen uh but i want y'all to be able to see hi fernando all right so i like the it almost looks like a mixed media and i'm just going to write down whatever i'm thinking of and i'm trying to talk it out at the same time mixed media okay and let me just write this as page 69 um and i'll write the total name of the art book up here so this is all the kind of this is all the kind of thing that i would do if i was in my sketchbook all right but again having my my this is my 20 2023 book i don't go anywhere with this i don't take this out <laughs> this is not the book i carry around um but i would be if you guys weren't here that's what i would be doing all this in is that book okay <clears throat> let's see 
Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday to you. Oh, where'd she go? <laughs> Scrolls off as fast as I can click it. Uh, let's see. Hi, Judy, Judy, Judy. How you doing? Good to see you. Who else am I missing? All right. <clears throat> I gotta kind of I gotta think for a minute. I gotta get my mind in in um analyzing mode here. <laughs> All right, so the mixed media and the fish almost look stamped. I could see, you know, if you like this look right here, I could see reproducing this. Not, a, and I don't mean copying. I mean, get, you know, getting the idea of the texture, the mixed media texture. I like the green, the olive green. And I don't know if this is going to be helpful to anybody or not, but this is how I look at things and, and can analyze them. Okay, the olive green and um, the it's not it's not called lime green in my paint. It's chartreuse, I think, but I'm just going to write lime green because I don't know if I could spell chartreuse this early. <laughs> and I do like to bullet it, you know, like I do like to put bullet because then I can also go back and list things. If y'all have questions, ask, because I'm just rolling with how I'm looking at paintings. But if you have an idea or something you're seeing or what what stands out to you other than the actual theme, you know, Jesus is calling the fishermen, you know, uh, to follow him. Uh, that's what I'm assuming this is. Let me see if it has a Jesus calling the apostles Peter and Andrew. OK, so if we know that. So that's Peter and Andrew. Jesus calling Peter and Andrew, you know, but sometimes you may be seeing a painting somewhere, whether it's in a book. Now, if you're in a museum, they're going to have a little card next to the painting and describing it. So you can obviously, you know, see who did it and what what, what it was and um, all that. So, I'm, but I'm not, I don't want to read it. I want to look at it. I want us to look at it more than, than reading it first. You know, you can go back and find that. So um, I'm looking at the wood. The wood is uh, on the boat. The wood is just going like, it doesn't look like real wood. I mean, I just don't see the way that it's painted being like the boat being made with this curved wood. It looks like a banana. Yes, the fisher of men. Yes, yes, um, Julie. All right, so I'm going to write that because Julie said it. <clears throat> but what do you notice about the first thing I notice is Peter and Andrew have blonde hair. <laughs> These probably would, they would probably be young Jewish men. And also I have read that um, they, so they probably wouldn't have blonde hair, but um, I did read something about how, you know, when you see the apostles, let's see if I can get this right now. Don't, I, I say, don't quote me because I'm probably going to miss something in this explanation. But I thought this was really interesting. Um, when Jesus called all the apostles and, you know, his and his followers, especially the 12, uh, because those are the ones named and everything. You know, when you see the movies and things depicting the apostles and the followers of Jesus, they're all like mostly old men. You know, it shows white beards, white hair, they're old. But I read this thing about how Jesus and Peter were the only two that, and they're, you know, they're, they would all be under the Jewish law. Those were the only two that had to pay taxes. And they, those two, so you had to be over 30. I think you had to be over 30 to be, had to pay taxes. I, I'm not sure I got this exactly right. But my point is, is all his followers would have been young, uh, teenagers. They would have probably all been teenage, teenagers at the time. So the apostles were not a bunch of old men. They would have all been young. Okay. But that's a sidebar that has to do with the, the you know, what the painting means rather than what the colors are. But look at the colors. All right. So we have red, yellow, blue, and green. So what I would think, and of course I would, you know, I would go back and look at the 
uh, date. I think this was, they said that this painter was active between 1278 and 1318 to 19. So these are the colors that this artist used in that time frame. And so it makes, I would want to know what was, what were they making their colors out of? Is this, is this boring to you guys? Please tell me if y'all are not into any of this analyzing stuff, then, <laughs> then we will move on to the Pantone cards. Just saying. <laughs> but because I found this book, I said, I got to share this. I got to share some of the uh, ways you can observe things, right? Um, so the, the red is pretty bright. That's pretty bright. Of course, it could have to do with the reproduction of the, you know, the, they could have uh, just like we can Photoshop and highlight and do different things with the colors and stuff. You know, when they printed the book, they probably tried to get it as true as they could. And I'd like to see the size of this painting too. 17 and, uh, and some core eights and eight and 18. So it's about 17 by 18. So it's not that big. You know, the painting's like this big, right? Pretty small. Thanks, Fiona. It's interesting. Thanks, Debbie. We won't do a whole bunch of them. I just thought we'd do a couple. And this was just the first painting in here. So, um, but anyway, back to the colors. So, and you can also, well, you can't do this at like a museum, but you can do this at home. Let me get a, just like we've done the, uh, let's pull a piece of tracy paper. Just like we've traced out of, uh, Fashion magazines. Oh, good grief. I got some stuck on my foot. Um, just like we've uh, traced out of fashion magazines. Oh my gosh, I got all my little pieces from my other project stuck on the bottom of my foot, sitting over there waiting for me to work on it. Okay. But you could take a trace piece of tracing paper. Now, I wouldn't I recommend using a Sharpie, but you could use, um, you know, I'll just use a, big because that's what I have but uh, just to see the placement of how they place things and uh, that you may not notice it almost looks like this rock is giving him wings I don't you know that's just the way I don't know if this is I don't know if this is the full painting either or if it's just a part of a painting but um, like here's the arms going this way, this arm's going this way. There's the oar and there's the boat. And um, so just getting the general, there's the horizon behind the boat there. I think the horizon's at an odd place, just me personally, but that's just me. So you can look at, you can take some tracing paper and look at the composition. So now let's put this up here. And um, if you really want to analyze things and look at what made something successful, other than the fame of the person at the time, you know, Leonardo at the time, you know, um, but it, it's another way to look things, look at things and analyze the composition, um, especially if you see, you know, look at the colors. Like I said, there's the, there's the red, this is a dark blue, light blue, the green, the yellow, red. Red Bull gives you away, Tina. <laughs> Brother. Uh, all right. So what do y'all notice about the color, the composition? What do y'all notice about it? Other than just the, you know, whatever the theme could be, you know, what do you know? It's like, look at this, the, the way they did the net. Um, I love the way it looks. It could almost have been done. I could see this being done with uh stickles <laughs> look look at the little dots on the net can you see that being done with stickles and mixed media <laughs> so i'm gonna put little dots here and i would say reminds me of stickles <clears throat> and the thing about doing something like this guys stickles is it, it not only just it just hones your observation and it, you will get ideas from doing this kind of stuff. You will get ideas. OK, Shelly. All right. So Leona knows it's balanced. Um, 
very minimal colors. And so, you know, if you if you note those things, you can you can take note of things that make a painting successful that you might want to try. And I'm not going into a whole bunch of depth here because I'm trying to keep it very basic, you know, just writing down the obvious things but if you sit and study things for a while you'll notice you know like what well, does that look like a little octopus what kind of fish is that you know and again you have to also note that the artist probably never went to Israel <laughs> probably wasn't <laughs> you know, in, um, you know, in the, in the place where they were doing this, you know, so they could, they'll be making up the boat. They'll be making up, you know, the, were, you know, would they have been wearing bright red, you know? So depending on how deep you want to go into a painting, if you want to analyze the themes, so that's what I like to do with Salvador Dali. Because Dolly, you can just imagine anything in Salvador time. Maybe that's the book I should have pulled out, one of my Salvador Dolly books, and let y'all look at his surrealism and see what you thought about that. Because <laughs> I love Salvador Dolly. I love surrealism. But this just happened to be the very first, first major painting in the book where I could, you know, something big enough to see. Okay, so let's go. All right, here's the British and American schools in the 10th. 18th century. All right. Am I right? Is this the 18th century? <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody's going to be yelling at me. It's 18. I think that's 18. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Did I say hi to Shaz? Devin. Hey, Devin, we were shouting you out earlier. Tina gave me a thumbs up. Okay. So let's just see something here. So there's a lot of, um, you know, landscapes and, and portraits. But, uh, but like, look at this little girl here. You know, I would question, again, you can read all the information about it and the artists and what they were doing and were they doing portraits, were they doing landscapes. But look at the landscape here. Right away, this kind of, just right in this reminds me of, like, behind the Mona Lisa, the, the scenes and stuff, you know, the colors, the mutedness you know just that right right there but the you know the flowers the clouds i mean you just gotta and take notes take notes <laughs> this book is massive enablement <laughs> okay well i won't get too far in the weeds because i don't think this is that interesting to you but i like you to have those notes in your society of idea collector because you know, and there's, you know, go find an art teacher if you want to know more about the history and analyzing paintings. I just like to look at it and see like, oh, look at that lace in her hair. <laughs> you know, the, my first instinct is to see the textures like that looks like linen and um, a linen out linen fabric. And then this is a satin with lace right here on her uh, cape. And what is she holding in her hand? Why has she got? See, that's the kind of stuff I want to look at. You know, analyzing the fabrics and the, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is helpful at all. But the only reason I brought it up was because I've got this book at the library. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm not missing anything. So I'm just going to do a little flip again. Um, a lot of portraits and a lot of landscapes, seascapes. And, you know, like, what do you think? What do you feel when you're looking at these things? Um, this reminds me of that book I have on um, the sketchbooks of the seafaring people. Let me go grab that real quick. I, I showed it mm, kind of recently. And I did post pictures in the community tab of these two books, the Explorers, the Explorers Sketchbook and the Sea Journal, these books right here. This one, that reminds me of this one. Look, <laughs> look at that. 
<laughs> so, but again, awesome to look at and analyze. You know, you could use something like this to practice doing different clouds. It's just, I don't know. I can't see how people do run out of ideas. And then explore sketchbooks. This is the art of discovery and adventure. Again, I'm not going to go through these because I've shown them before. But these are sketchbooks of, you know, world travelers back in the day. Isn't that awesome. There's some pictures of some paints. Look, Jana would be Jana would be getting out her uh, her uh, <laughs> cleaning supplies for this poor guy. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> what Arlene said, I have been known to make the note on the page if it's something annoying, like one year ago with the palm tree in the. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. Now, how did that palm tree get in the Adirondacks again? <laughs> Arlene. Uh, how you doing, Paul? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> but look, can you see Janet getting out her cleaning supplies? <laughs> wait, wait. I think she fainted. I don't see Janet commenting. I think she fainted. <laughs> oh, God. My, now my uh, screen froze. Hang on, guys. Can you still hear me? My screen froze. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know why I froze. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? My screen is completely froze. There it goes. Okay, it unfroze. I don't know what happened, guys. Sometimes that just happens. <clears throat> okay. So anyway... <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll pass that. I don't see Janet answering about, <laughs> about that, uh, those palettes. But anyway, so when you get a book like this, and again, you know, I only paid $2 for this book at the library bookstore. But look at them and, and you know, like, like look at the black of her outfit, how it makes the negative space. I mean, there's just things that make paintings work and look good. And now this one, she looks like, I know it's probably a feather thing that you fan yourself with, but it looks like, <laughs> like she's dusting. I'm sitting, I'm taking a break from dusting. <laughs> it's feathers that she probably fans herself with, but it looks like, you know, the, the Swiffers. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's make it go this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's just so many things you can do, you know, so many ideas. Uh, but I am working on a new Barbie photography, if y'all missed me uh, saying that earlier. But I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. <laughs> you like that, Arlene? But look at this big art book that I got. National Gallery of Art. This is from 1984. Uh, but um, two bucks. All right. So let's... <laughs> All right. So let's now go back over to the Pantone thing. Again, I uh, talked about uh, Colorful Mystique on Instagram. And there's lots of people that just look up the Pantone challenge, hashtag Pant. Let's just do that real quick. Let's look up the Pantone. But I came across her this morning and uh, she's, you know, has a YouTube channel. She does um, the classes on uh, Skillshare and different things. So, but I just found her this morning. So I followed her. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let me go to IG. Let's look up. Um, and hi, Paul, by the way. And anybody else I missed coming in? Oh, uh, let's see. Hashtag Pantone Challenge 2023. So there's there's lots of uh, 
<clears throat> so they'll just take the they take the color and they paint on it. They paint something on top of it. And again, this is a whole bunch of different people. Here's somebody that did all these. See, they just paint whatever on top of it. But the idea is not to cover up the whole color so much that you can't see the color at all because, you know, you're trying to do something with that color. Um, <laughs> there's Janet yakking at the rat. Okay. Did you miss, you missed that, uh, that, uh, those watercolor palettes, didn't you, Janet? Did you see those? <laughs> what? Okay, let me see. I think it was in this one. Mm -hmm. I think it was in this one here at the beginning, Janet. I love these books. They're just so inspiring. But books in general just inspire me. But uh, I thought I was right here toward the front. Was it the other one, maybe? Maybe it was in the other one. <clears throat> You'll probably have to go back and, and I probably won't be able to find it now, Janet. I thought it was toward the front. Hmm. Not seeing it. And I also thought it was in the other book. Let's try it again. Hmm. <laughs> the whole page is black, so it's e it'd be easy to spot. Oh, it was right in here, wasn't it? Because we passed by that. There it is. There, Janet. This is a page just for you. <laughs> Hi, CB. Anybody else coming in? Updated just now. I'm not sure who you are, but good morning, Lurker. <laughs> <laughs> Janet goes torch it. And then now oh, here comes Malibu. We'll have to give her a quick little pet. Sit down. I'll give you a little pet. Sit down. <laughs> I got my um Elisa hands out here. Little cat butt. You're trying to creep over to the keyboard. Stop creeping. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so back to the Pantone challenge. Let's see. Like, oh, this one looks good. Look at that little bird, the red bird. All right, baby. You're going to have to sit up. You're going to have to get away from the keyboard. You're going to have to get away from the keyboard. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. That one's pretty cool. But just go look up Pantone Challenge. This is Pantone Challenge 2023. But they've been around for some years. So. All right. So let's do a test. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. You're going to have to get down. Mama, Mama can't have any room. All right. There you go. Uh, we're going to do a test on one that I uh, put, uh, what do you call it, uh, matte medium on. Okay. So I matte medium this one just to test it. You see it a little bit. <laughs> breathe, Janet. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I want to, because I, I remember painting some, you know, and I just use my craft paint. I just use my craft paint. Uh, and it, it, it didn't scrape off, but um, it was some years ago. I think it, it was at least three years ago when I did these. So uh, we'll test them again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's try a couple, like maybe a dark green here. I have, here's, here's the matte medium I used this morning to coat that to see what we could do. And if, like I said, if anybody wants, um, wants one of these and want to test out doing the Pantone challenge, Terry Brett took one. I gotta get a 
can open this up. I always seem like every time we do uh, pull out a craft paint, I always pull out a new one. Like I have to, this a gazillion of them, but it seems like every time I just reach for one, I always pull a new one and I have to get the plastic off. All right, so let's see. All right. Let's get a brush here. Not too big. That one over here, that one's too small. Let's get a medium. Just a little brush. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'll do a, a strip of uh, acrylic paint, gouache, and watercolor. Okay, just to test it out, and then we'll dry it and see how it does. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with acrylic. And, uh, and again, this is over golden matte medium. I don't have, I could not find, I have some somewhere. Clear gesso to coat it so that it wouldn't, uh, you know, peel off. All right, but we'll see what happens. All right, so that's uh, acrylic. Then we'll do gouache. And then we'll do watercolor to test. And then I'll dry them and we'll see if we'll do the scratch test. <laughs> we'll do the scratch test. All right, let me get a baby wipe. Clean my hands off here. I know, baby. I know you don't want to be down there on the floor with me just being ignored. Being ignored. Okay, so let me get out. Uh, let me get out my. Um, I gotta make room to get to it. Ugh. My hemi gouache that I've been playing with a little bit lately. Mm -mm. My uh, gouache here. And we'll just use it straight with no um, with no uh, white paint in it. Right. So, and they still might be damp because I've been using them, but we'll spray down a color or two. All right, let's do uh, let's do this dark green here. Well, let's do this dark green. Yeah, let's do this dark green. All right, so we're gonna try some gouache. Again on matte medium. Now I did not put any matte medium down here. See how it's beating up. All right, see how it's beating up because it's the, the shine of the, the, the paper is shiny. So it's not beating up anyway. And, of course, it'll probably take a couple coats. Got to dry it and put some down. All right, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to do the scratch test. All right, let's move that to the side. Let's get some watercolor in. <clears throat> golden matte medium on Amazon. Yeah, you can um, you can get the golden matte medium at Michaels. Hobby Lobby does not carry golden; they carry Liquitex. Um, but you can get coupons for uh, matte medium, a golden matte medium at Michaels. They have coupons in. Um, what do you call it? Uh, rewards or whatever. You can get a discount, I should say. All right, so let's see. Let's go with this dark green here. And we'll try that watercolor. Okay, now I'll hit it with the heat gun. What my point is, is trying to see if it will um, scratch off, you know. And you can also, now one thing that you probably don't have to use any kind of medium is Posca. So we'll do a little Posca test and I'm going to wipe that off <laughs> because it's shiny. Well, all right, let's get up. 
of the pasta and test that. All right, so now let me dry it. I'm doing all kinds of testing and things today. Let's see. I wonder how your Jane Davenport layer cake paints will do. Oh, we'll try one. Let me get one that has a dark color. The Christmas one has a dark green. Uh, well, here, this one's got uh, an olive green in it. We'll test this one. Where's my water brush? Let's get a water brush with some water. All right. It's, it's still just watercolor, though. So, I mean, it's got kind of a, it's got a little bit of a matte to it. I mean, kind of, well, we'll see. We'll just see what we can do here. All right, so I'm going to dry it. See, it does still beat up a little. All right, but I'm going to dry it and see how permanent it is. All right. Yeah, we talked about you this morning, Devin, before you came in. Sent, you, sent my, everybody over to your channel today. All right, let me plug in my heat tool. Janet passes out every time she sees my heat gun. <laughs> now there's no, um, down here there's no matte medium. There's no matte medium on this part, just on this part. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna got a blob on it. It's gonna take forever to dry. Yeah, you could use watercolor ground too. I probably have some of that around here too somewhere. But here's the thing: I don't use any of that stuff for my own personal. You know, I barely use any gesso. You know, I got some Finnabar's heavy gesso, you know, white gesso. And I have her clear gesso somewhere around here, but I just don't know where it is. I just don't use all that stuff when I'm doing my paintings. Hi, Kathy Berg. You know, I just, if I want something white in the background, I just get some white acrylic paint. But because these were starting out with a shiny card, that's the reason that I, you know, that's not quite dry that I used it on here. And um, the girl that was doing these Pantone cards that I just happened to come across this morning, there's hundreds of people doing this, guys, for years and years. She just happened to be the one I came across this morning. And because she has a YouTube channel, she teaches on Skillshare, she does watercolor, gouache classes, and she put down clear gesso. So I was going to just try to bring this out and show, talk about her and the Pantone cards this morning. I could not find my clear gesso. <laughs> she wouldn't throw away any of my supplies like that. Okay, so let's see what happens now. If we, let's say I wanted to go over it with a, pen, a pencil. Let's get a white pencil. And we'll just do a couple things. Now it just might scratch right off, you know. All right, so let's see. All right, so that's not scratching off. This is why I love my craft paints. Because it takes color pencil like this. Okay, regardless of whatever we started with. But now I'm going to see if I can scratch. Yeah, I can. If I scratch real hard, I can scratch it to make it come off. Okay, but I think we you could do that when you use acrylic paint on any base if you really dug in. Right. But my point is, it's not just coming right off. We could paint over the top of it. Okay, so over the gouache, it's going fine. The watercolor. A little less opaque, but, it, you know, you can see right there. All right. This was the Posca. Not going over the Posca that well. And then this is the Jane Davenport. Same thing. Oh, but wait. Let's let's clarify something. I put no base coat. I did put no clear medium over this part. Just over this. Okay. So there's a pencil test. Pencil test. All right, what, what else we're going to, oh, scratch test. 
<laughs> See, it doesn't want to come up. It's not wanting to come up with the uh, with the uh, base underneath of it. And that's a that's a, a Posca. Poscas are pretty. They'll go over anything. So you know. I think if you just put some kind of clear gesso, matte medium. Now, I did not, it's not a gloss. It's matte. It's matte medium, you know. Um, you don't want to put a shine on top of a shine. Hi, wait, wait. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Let hi, hi, Lisa. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? I love my hands. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, do we have any questions on this so far? Do we have any questions on doing the Pantone postcards? Again, you can get the box of 100 on Amazon for 20 bucks. And I have a couple different boxes. So that's why I said I was going to give y'all one. If you wanted one, I have a whole nother box. And this is my practice. This is my practice box. I bought these to do that Pantone challenge three or four years ago i don't even remember way before the virus so it's been a lot of years since i tried to do the pantone challenge and i think i did three i think i did three of them but you know y'all know how much we squeeze into one of my videos there's not a video on it there's not a video on the pantone challenge i would have just done it you know uh, <clears throat> all right let's see here Nothing else in caps. Hi, Barbara. I said hi to Ray and CB. All right. So while I have this out and I have the three prompt challenge out, does anybody want a Pantone card? I'll give you a general like red, yellow, blue, pink, you know, gray, black. You can pick one. Um, if you think you'll try to do one. Let me go back over to IG and show you the Pantone challenge 2023. If you just go to, yeah, just go to Pantone Challenge 2023 and you'll see all different kind of people do. Look, somebody else using some gouache there. I saw that Hemi gouache. I saw that Hemi gouache. <laughs> so they're using the Hemi gouache on there. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Let's go back. So there's tons of samples if you need some, uh, if you need some inspiration or some ideas. All right, so let's see here. Barbara, you'd love to try it? Okay, Barbara, you will need to send me your address. Email me your address. Here's my email. I don't share your address with anybody, not even the mods. I don't put you on email list. But not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't do it. Okay, so um, y'all do send me your address because I, I, yeah, just please do. Okay, so hang on. We get Terry got one. So Barbara... Robin Smith. I'm kind of trying to keep it all on a line. Leona. Leona J. Okay, so um, Barbara, what color would you like? Leona wants red. There's a nice bright 199, Leona. Let's put your name on a little post it. <clears throat> Okay, Devin wants one. Okay, Devin, what color, Devin? And Barbara, what color do you want? Barbara Robinson Smith. Tell me the color so I can pick you out one. <clears throat> you will try, Leona says any color. All right, so we're just going to go mm, random. Oh, <laughs> Let's don't give you a white one. Let's give you here. Here's a green. Okay. So Leona. Oh, what did I, what'd I do? No, Leona just got red. You just got red, Leona. What do you mean you'll try any color? I, I gave you red already. You asked for red. <laughs> I gave you red. Okay. Uh, let's see. Devin, Barbara Smith wants blue. Okay. You want a light blue, a teal blue. What kind? You want one of these blues? There's a, let's see, do we have another blue in here? 
Okay, here. Which one of these do you want? Barbara? And Devin wants purple. Which blue do you want? Um, which blue do you want, Barbara? And I'll find a purple for... They're kind of in order. There's a dark purple. Oh, that's black iris. There's black iris. That's a dark purple. And I don't know if they're still in order from when I bought them because I've played with them myself. Okay, here we go. Devin, you can pick which one of these you want. All right, let's see. Teal is good for Barbara. Isn't this fun? <laughs> All right, which one do you want, Devin? Deep Cobalt or Black Iris? <clears throat> oh, Leah. I'm sorry, Leah. Okay. Leona. Okay, Leona had red. Le Leah. Okay, I'm sorry. Leah. Sorry, I just saw the L A E A. <laughs> Okay, Devin wants deep cobalt. Um, Leah, yellow. This one here, yellow. Okay. All right. Anybody else? While well, I'm in the giving out card mood. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Now, remember, guys, don't just ask for one if you're not going to do it. Really try to, try to do it, okay? Really try to do it. <laughs> Hi, Christopher. Christopher, do you want a Pantone card to play with? From uh, We're talking about the Pantone challenge. Now, if guys, if you do it and you don't like it, you don't have to post it to the Pantone challenge 2023. You don't have to do that. But I want you to at least try to do the chat. I mean, try to do something with it. So it's taking a Pantone card, Christopher, anybody that just comes in or didn't know, and you take a Pantone uh, card, postcard, and you have to leave some part of the card, you know, some part of the card that color, but then you, uh, so you can do anything. Look at all the different variety, but just go look at Pantone Challenge 2023. Again, you can get these, the whole deck. I'm not an Amazon affiliate, but you can get the whole deck for of 100 for 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, let's see. Flonial, Christopher, pretty colors. Um, do you want one, Christopher? I will send you one. Pick a color, any color. I will d dig you out a color. <laughs> What's the challenge? Yeah, you just, yeah, Christopher's always up for, and Christopher, oh my gosh, I have not seen Rachel. Did she show you? She messaged it to me, and I haven't seen her post it, so I'm not going to show it until she shows it. Or tells me I can show it. But she drew a picture of you, Christopher. She did a pencil drawing of you. And it was really good. But I can't show it until I have her permission. And she's not here right now. Okay. So, yeah. Christopher, go on Instagram and look up the, pan, um, look up the Pantone postcard. The pan, And there's more than one. If this one just happens to be 2023. But go look up the Pantone Challenge 2023. And you'll see what's going on over there. You just have to use, you have to keep some part of the color in your, if you post it. That's if you post it. Okay, so what color would you like, um, Christopher? What color? And I'll pick you out, a, I'll pick you out a Pantone. <laughs> Do you have to paint? Uh, yes, you paint on it. Well, I guess you, I think I did, I actually think I did a collage on one, Terry. You can do whatever you want. You just have to use the Pantone color, right? Yes. It's really good, Christopher, I thought. But she's not here to let me get her permission to show it. Because she just messaged it to me. She hasn't posted it on IG. Okay. So, Rachel's good. Her sketch of me was... Yes. I, she did one of Arlene. She did a pencil sketch of Arlene. Uh, that color, pick one of your choice. Okay. Do you, well, do you have a favorite color, Christopher? And I won't pick that one. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you have a favorite color? <laughs> yes, Alyssa. Alisa, sorry, Alisa. I have to get rid of, get rid um, do, you know. <laughs> All right, Alisa, what color do you want? Alisa, Christopher, 
and send me your address. Y'all, send me y'all's addresses if you, you know, especially if you know I may not have it, uh, so I can send you. I don't share your address. I don't put. I don't put you on an email list. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Alisa wants pink. Let's find you a pretty pink one in here. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Those are kind of orange and salmon. Let's see if I can get more into the pink family. Oh, here we go. How's this? All right, do you want a light pink, Elisa? Or I'll let you pick one of the two here. Which one do you want? Candy pink or $4.93? Which one do you want, Elisa? Thank you, Terry. Christopher does not give me a color yet. Thank you, Janet. Christopher said olive green. Okay, olive green. Probably, probably used them all the olive greens. Let me look. Let me find you an olive. Olive green. I don't know if that's his favorite color or if that's just the color he wants. All right, I got. All right, so let's see here. Let's get a couple. I'll get a couple greens here. I don't know if I have the exact olive. Let's see. There's a dark, dark green. That's a dark green. There's lime greens. Okay, here we go, Christopher. How about willow bow? Bow. <laughs> willow bow. Which one do you like? This is kind of a gray green, dark green, or willow. Okay, and let's go back and see Elisa like She liked this one. Okay. All right, we'll do a few more if y'all want to. I mean, if you're, and again, guys, please don't ask for one if you just want me to send you something and you're not going to do anything with it. All right, uh, let's see. Let me go back to Christopher Willow. Okay, Christopher gets Willow. Christopher. Okay. All right. And let's see. And Barbara, what color would you like, Barbara? You bow to your choice with willow bow. Is a bow or bow? Bow, bow. Bow. I mean, I'm trying to think. When the bow breaks, so it'd be bow, right? When the bow breaks, a cradle will fall. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's go back up to Barbara Galler. What color, Barbara? Blue. All right, you want a light blue or dark blue, Barbara? Let me pull some blues. We have celestial blue, Barbara. We have Swedish blue. One of those two. <laughs> Which one would you like? Oh, Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Would you like a Pantone card, Lisa? Or would you like one of my stickers, Lisa? I will send you one of my stickers. Lisa, I'll let you pick a sticker. Okay, so let's see. I'm waiting to see what color Barbara wants. Or I'm going to pick it for you, Barbara. Thank you, Lisa. Barbara, oh, Barbara, do you have a, oh, it's Swedish blue, okay, Barbara, all right, so, Lisa, hang on, Lisa, I'm going to let you pick a sticker, Lisa, <laughs> you have to send me your address, <clears throat> and again, I don't share your addresses with anybody, but I have to have a place to send it, so, Lisa, you ready, I'm going to, I'm going to do this quick, I'm going to do this quick, Lisa. And again, these stickers are on clear. I did get me some other that are um, that are white background, but these are clear. So you, if you want the white to show, you have to glue, you have to stick them on white. Okay. Otherwise, whatever color you stick them to will be the color. See how he looks blue right there? So I'll let you pick a sticker. Ready? Oh, thank you. All right, Lisa, do you want a Frankenstein? Do you want a Poe? This is what I've left after last week because I gave a lot of them away last week. A Poe, 
a Zira, a Lemur, a Biker Pug. <laughs> I love the Biker Pug. One of my uh, Pea Sloths, a Panda, an Eagle, a Dinosaur, Cracking Through the World, um, a Skelly, or an Emu. I have not cut them out yet. What would you like? <clears throat> Panda, okay. All right, Lisa, a panda it is. All right, let's see. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel, Lisa. I put them all in a little box. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so let's see. Um, all right, so we looked at the books. We got some idea from art books. Well, they, just some a couple of ideas. I think that, that kind of put y'all to sleep, so we moved on from that. <laughs> we moved on from the art books, and we don't want anybody to go to sleep. All right. Um, all right, I don't need this because I put your names down on little pieces of paper. All right, so any more questions on the Pantone? Go to Pantone challenge 2023 for the most recent ones all righty all right does anybody else want three prompts while we're standing here uh, face blue slide please oh thank you tina thank you so much i appreciate that i did send my mods out stickers too so, uh, Tina, Janet, Julie, and Pecola, you all have stickers coming. I sent I sent all the sticker happy mail out on Thursday or Friday. I don't even remember now. It went out last week. All right. <clears throat> so, let's see. Looking around, seeing what else that I should be showing you or talking about i made all my notes to show i showed all that uh talked about devin's book terry brett colorful mystique see i have to write it all down then the post-it note gets thrown away christopher wants three okay here we go christopher ready i'm just taking them off the top this is the today's little stack um th these are the ones that everybody's already picked for today all right here we go christopher let's see what you get any cartoon character. <laughs> I think you've got that before. And you get, and guys, if I pick one and you've already got that before and you want something else, I was off the bottom. Um, then let me know. Manta Ray. <laughs> and an emu. <laughs> Chris, what a combination. But I think if you don't, so anyway, what I was saying is if I picked the same thing and you want something different, let me know because I'll, I'll gladly throw in something else. Hi, PDI Beth. You're welcome, Tina. So, any cartoon character, a manta ray, and an emu. <laughs> that's going to be a little, that'll be a little tricky. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you for the Canadian, uh, Canadian um, super chat. Do you want me to throw in a sticker with your card, Barbara? Because I'm sending you a card. Now, don't forget, Barbara, to send me your address. If you guys, if you don't give me your address, I cannot send you happy mail. <laughs> so, Barbara, what would you, would you like a sticker? And here is my, oh, wait, there went my chat comments. There we go. Let me put this in here. And my email is always in my about section. Um. I keep my AOL just for you guys. <laughs> All right. So let's see. All right. So Christopher, there's your three. That's a great list. Okay. Christopher can work with anything. If y'all have not watched Christopher Runciman, he comes on at two o'clock Monday through Friday on YouTube for about an hour, an hour and a half. And he does a one page comic like pretty much every day. So you need to go follow Christopher. Let me click on his name again. 
There's Christopher's name. So you can go follow Christopher. Okay. So uh, Barbara, do you want a sticker? What sticker do you want? What? Tell me which one you'd like, Barbara. In the meantime, uh, Lisa wants three prompts. Okay. So here we go, Lisa. I'm going to pull off the top. Some of them are upside down. Some are right side up. Astronaut, because I just pull them out in a stack. Road and a halo. There you go, Lisa. And I don't write these down, so don't come back and ask me, what did you give me? You'll just have to go scrub through. Okay, so Barbara, what um, what sticker would you like? Did you see them? Tell me if you can tell me what sticker you'd like. I'll stick one in with your prompt Pantone. Uh, and then we got to move on to do something because we've been <laughs> we've been just dilly dallying, doll, dawdling, and lollygagging. Frankenstein. Okay. <clears throat> Frank, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let me find your um, card here, Barbara. So I'll put you a Frankenstein with your card. All right. <clears throat> So let's see. All right. So, Alisa, there you go. There's some prompts. All right. So, let's see what we want to do now. Thank you, Tina. Tina's putting links here. Thank you, Bacola. And thank you, Barbara. Thanks, everybody that supp supports the channel. Hi, JL Johnson Janice. <laughs> Okay, um, a per card, a Pantone purple. Okay, Janice wants a purple. Okay, purple. We got a lilac purple. I think the dark purple uh, Devin took. So how about that? You want a lilac color? How about that, Janice? J L Janice. Okay. J.L. Janice. Okay. All right. Purple it is. Okay, so let me come back here and see what we want to do. I haven't, I, I was going to finish another one of my, I showed this one, I think. I think I showed both of these. These are my two current, um, and I know that the camera is going to reflect in there. My two, and I did post them on Instagram so you can see them. My collage, 3D collages and little frames. So these are the two newest ones, I think, that I've done. So there you go. You can kind of see. But they're on Instagram. All right, let's see. What do we want to do? Do y'all have any preferences and what we do today <clears throat> since we've just been kind of dilly dallying along um, I wanted to do something with uh, pasta paints but I don't know let's see thank you guys thank you thank you John uh, Janice Janice Johnson <laughs> tongue tied Oh, all right. So those will go out. So again, you can get, the, anybody wants a set of these, you can get them off of Amazon for like 20 bucks for a hundred. They're just called the Pantone one. And you, I think you can get 50 too. I think you can get 50, but you might as well get a hundred if you're going to get 50, right? All right. So let's see here. I keep, see what I keep doing here? I keep catching this sticker. I pulled it right off. So this is just not a good idea to put him there. <laughs> uh, um, I have another happy mail. Happy mail from Barbara. I got, I think I got, you mean, yeah, did I, I think I got, yeah, I got Barbara. Did I not get Barbara? Oh, I'm getting too many, um, irons in the fire here did i not do a barbara oh barbara robinson smith okay so barbara did you want a sticker 
I'm going to run out of them pretty soon. I'll have to print more. <laughs> so I'm not doing a, I can't do this every time y'all give me a super chat, but today I got some. So um, yeah, there are multiple Barbaras. <laughs> okay. So let's see, Barbara, did you do a, you didn't do a Pantone, did you, Barbara? Yeah, you did do a Pantone. Okay. So Barbara, what uh, sticker would you like? I know, right? And Leah's, yeah. Thank you, Pacola. Barbara, do you want a sticker? Tell me what it is you want. Now we got to start moving on and do something, guys. I'm out of pandas, Barbara. I have no more pandas. I'm out of, that was the last panda. So you'll have to pick something else. Out of pandas, you want to, how about a lemur? Do you want a lemur? You got a little lemur here. How about a lemur? I got, a, I got a little lemur. <clears throat> I'm out of pandas. So if you want a lemur. Okay, lemur it is. Okay, so let's put the little lemur here. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we're moving on, people. <laughs> All right. So I'm looking. I don't want to bring out a sketchbook or a collage. I guess I could get out some collage. Uh, you know, my collage books. We can see what we can do with that. All right, let me move my pencils. Let me move my pencil roll. And let me get out the books. Because these are the books I really wanted to work on this year. And I've also been working in... Yeah, I've been work I work in a lot of things. That <laughs> Let me put this right here. All right. So we could maybe start on a closet. I don't know how far we get. But we also have my big book here. We have my big book. We could work on something either sketching. Let's back up the back up the camera. Or pull out the collage books. Let's fix the, the lighting's going to flash out because of the black. All right. So this is where I got this. So here's how this one of the stickers work. This is perfect for an example. So I took a picture of one of my art pieces. Okay. And then I put it in my, uh, to go take it to the printer downstairs on the other computer. I just cropped it down. And just printed about this much. I printed about that much. And then I trim, I hand cut them. I hand fussy cut the stickers. Okay, so let's see. That eagle is bald. <laughs> but anyway, so my point is, is you can take some of your... Um, like you know these are these are shrunk down um these are shrunk down from my movie monsters this is my favorite me and zippy the unicorn this is me and zippy the unicorn's favorite movie monster <laughs> but um you know these when i did them they're this big right they're they're like on 11 by 14 they're really big and i did them with the uh, uh, uh <laughs> big pen and a paintbrush with the ink you know <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I see my invisible man, I get tickled. And uh, <laughs> I thought. So anyway, um, but like there's Frankenstein, right? So I just print them out and then I cut around, you know, I cut around them. And uh, so anyway, but I have a lot, of, a lot of different animals and choices that I could be making from, you know. Uh, oh, there's some... Uh, the little mice. Where's, oh, what's in here? <clears throat> the, yeah, the little mice. I really like the mice. Maybe I should make a sticker of him. That's a cute one for a sticker right there. So, but <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I got lots of things I can make stickers from. And I can finish any of these drawings, right? <laughs> let's see, let's go back here. What do I got back here? Some, there's some chicks and some rabbits. Here's a couple of my collages that I finished that I just printed out to put in the book. There's my uh, pea sloth, which I made stickers of him. <clears throat> so, 
Yeah, I'll have to go back through this and find some more stuff to make stickers of. I am going to make some more Halloween ones. Um, I think I showed y'all last week. Let me go to my photos. Hang on. I'm going to make some other Halloween stickers. Let me go to my photos. Um, from my movie monsters. I'm going to do Nosferatu. I'm going to do the Phantom of the Opera. I'm going to make stickers of them. And I already did Poe. I showed y'all Poe. I don't know if you saw him today, but there's Poe and a Poe sticker. Poe, Poe, Poe. And uh, of course my Skelly. So we'll have lots of, we'll have lots of stickers coming up. <laughs> uh, should I make a sticker of the armadillo? Is he in? Did I pass him up here? I think I saw him in here. Well, I think I saw the print. The actual armadillo is big. He's, a, you know, he's big, but I think I printed him out one. Okay, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. Uh, armadillo sticker. Yeah, he was done with the, uh, he's in the closet. I'm not going to bring him, I'm not going to bring my armadillo out of the closet today. But he was done with the ballpoint pen, too. So, yeah, we got lots of things to make um, stickers with. Oh, but the book weighs a ton. Okay, so now let's go back to our collage. And let's see if we just want to, you know, do a little collage play. I don't know how much we'll get done, but we'll see. Um, uh, send me, oh, she's, I don't, are you talking to me, Dot? You'll send me one what? I will send you one. I don't know what you're sending me. Or you're not talking to me, Dot. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So these are the our books that I plan on working in this year. Um, these two. And let's fix the lighting again. Because we went from black background to color. And it flashes everything out. So... These are some of the ones we've done this year. So I might work on, I like this. Maybe I should, I like this. Maybe I should work on this. I don't know. I could work on any of them because I like all of them. You know. <laughs> oh, okay, CB. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's zoom in. Let's fix the lighting here. A little bright. And I do have something, I think, on every page. Something started on every page anyway. And that, I like that too. I like all of them. I like them all for different reasons. So, I don't know. I like my fractals. No, I think I'm going to go back to, oh, here, this one, this is one, um, I just stuck it in here that um, Timothy sent me this. So this needs to go in here somewhere. I don't know if I got anything red going on. This one, we, I think this was the last one we did, the most recent one we did. Okay, I wrote it down, Devin, the armadillo. <clears throat> that might work. Need some more stuff, but that's a start. I could maybe do that. Let me just put a post in this. See, I wrote it down. I wrote it down, Devin. Everything goes on. Uh, everything goes on post-it notes until it makes it into my book. All right. Let's see. Squeaky. I like that. I like that. Hmm. The red could go on this one too. It's already got a door though. I don't want two doors unless I'm, that's a purpose. I like this. So we might go with that. 
or let's look in the other book. I'm working in two books this year. Have you ever used Italian marble paper? Uh, yes, Barbara. As a matter of fact, um, like book in paper, marble. I have um, Catherine. I think it's Catherine. Yeah, Catherine Anderson. Hang on. I'll give y'all some uh, more ideas here. Hang on. Mm. Let me flip through my collage books here. Hang on. One of her books has vintage people and marbleized paper. This one. Catherine Anderson has this book. I mean, you can find original marbleized paper too, but if you're just doing some collages, we have vintage imagery. And it has on the back of all the images, on the back of the people, you can see, see I use some of that one. It has, oh, maybe I like some of that red in there. I might use some of that. I like that. All right. But yeah, it's got a marble. This is the backgrounds are marbleized papers. I don't like that color. No, I like that color better. So if you all like marbleized papers, you could get Katherine Anderson's. <laughs> Maybe we'll pick something else out of her book here today. I like the deer. What else would I like to do on here? I like this. <clears throat> yes, CB. CB. She was, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Some nests. Kind of like the nest. Maybe we'll, let's, let's just, let's play with Catherine Anderson's. Oh, wait, I'm going to show this book. <laughs> I already got ahead of myself. So this is a, uh, the other book we're working on this year. This one I put some glitter around the doors. Hi, Rebecca. Good to see you. I'm just trying to pick a page. That uh, These are all how I start my collages, whether I start with a blank page like these or uh, painting out altered books. Aband I like the abandoned books, but, you know. Start with this. Did that one a couple months ago, I think. I like this too. I really like this. Maybe we'll work on this page. I don't know. Now I'm torn. I like both these pages. I like this one. And I can do two separate ones, or I can carry them across. I like that. I like all of them for different reasons. Sometimes I just got to see which one really strikes me in the moment. And we didn't start exactly, you know, at 8.30 either. <laughs> You have several roles trying to incorporate it into art. Yeah. Well, if you do you do collage, Barbara? Do you do collage? I don't remember. You need to you need to do some in collage then. These are some of my deli printed papers. Wax paper, which we always need. All right, so I think I'm going to stick with this. And then maybe next time we'll do this one. <clears throat> All right. My current, current collage books. All right, so let's see here. I want some of this. And maybe we'll see what else is in here we like. Because I just happened to pull this book now because of the... Because of the... Uh, Marbleized paper. I do like the nest, but it's mm, not exactly. But I want some other stuff. This is mostly people. And I don't like to put a lot of people in my collage because you're the person in my collages. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, and again, these are just kind of tacked down with a glue stick until I get back to them. Like this is not, none of this is glued down. It's just tacked down with a glue stick until I, you know, matte medium them down. And which I put my golden matte medium in a dish soap. Uh, thank you, Carol, Sunset Carol, for that idea years and years and years ago. 
uh, it's so much easier to have your matte medium. And it doesn't have to be this tall one. It can be a small one. But it's so easy just to pop the top like this and pour out what you want. Here's what I was using this morning. Um, and uh, rather than trying to pour it out of the jar and then put the wax paper or something around or plastic, because you've got to put something. Oh, let me get my matte medium. Just And it comes in a couple different sizes. So that's okay, see. Well, I have a smaller jar too. This is the big one though. It's almost empty, Janet. I'm going to have to bust into the second one. Janet sends me two of these every birthday. And I'm almost done with this one. And I'll have to bust into my second one for the year. Uh, but this is what I use to glue everything down and coat everything when I'm gluing. And then when it's coated with your matte medium, you saw on the card here, this has matte medium on the base. But look how, you know, then I can um, put acrylic paint and pencil goes over the acrylic paint. And what's nice about it is you can coat it with that. Then when you're completely done, if you like a gloss finish, then you just put a coat of gloss varnish over the whole thing. All right, let's see. Gonna be running out of time pretty soon. Let's see, because I have some, some rolls. Wasn't sure whether to use as a background. Well, I'm gonna use some of it as a background. But I'm not gonna use anything else out of this book. We can pick another. If you like Catherine Anderson, yeah, I got her doors, her windows. Um, I'm keeping my fairy houses for the, what do you call it? The, uh, I'll pull a couple different books here just to show it. Cause I know y'all seen most of my collage books before. Um, flowers, got, I got enough flowers in there. Uh, all right, let me show a couple others. And again, you don't have to use these books. You can, you can find images in all kinds of things. It's this I like to show these because it makes it easy for people that don't do collage or don't do a lot of collage. And they go, where do you find the images? Well, there's books out there that will sell you images. <laughs> all right, let me uh, show you a couple of things. Uh, I, pulled, I just pulled four or five uh, books here. And these are kind of fairly new ones, I think. My favorite, all-time favorite one, though, is this one. It's almost time to do another straighten up in my collage fodder. <clears throat> this is my all-time favorite one. And it's just packed full. Over 1,500 images you can see. Look, I got all kinds of things going on. But this one's got a little everything. And uh, this one's, and you get all these on Amazon. This is kind of my favorite one. But I came across these kind of recently in the last couple months well at least a couple of them i think i had now this one i've had for a while this is Catherine. all the Catherine andersons i have for a long time because i really like hers these are her photographs that she puts in these books and sells um to, for you to use collage I think I muted that sneeze in time. <laughs> so I like this, but all right, let's put that one aside. So we're going to work on this one for a little about an hour. We have about an hour. Um, yeah, I know y'all know the story about when I got my golden. I'm going to flip through these books and I'll just kind of flip through them while I'm talking. I'll tell y'all my golden story. So um, years ago when I first started collaging, I uh, and I'm going to be looking for stuff that I might want to cut out too while I'm looking through these. How's it? How's the focus looking? Are we focused? Um, so Golden used to have a program where you could, uh, if you were, you know, a vlog. Well, they didn't do vlogging back then; they did blogging um, back when I did it. <clears throat> oh, I do like these colors. Oh, okay, I might be liking some of these. Let's just pull this back. Um, they had these programs where if you were, you know, would promote their their products that you could, uh, um, they'd send you some some free supplies. You just had to pay for shipping. So I uh, wrote them. You had to fill out a little question. I don't know if they still do this or not. 
you had to fill out a little questionnaire and um I like I'm like I'm pulling these because of the colors. I like all these kind of rose, reddy, peachy colors right there. So I'm not I don't want any more uh, flowers, but I'm just gonna I'll flip so you can see what else is in here. And uh, so I filled out the form, told them that I and at the time I was on Ustream. It was before we were on YouTube, and uh, so I I told them you know what I did that I did collage. And then I, I just wanted the matte medium. I didn't want anything else. I didn't want their paints. I didn't want any. I didn't, all I wanted was the matte medium because that's expensive. The golden matte medium is not cheap. You want to get it when there's a coupon or when, you're, <laughs> when your bestie gets it for you for your birthday. Just saying. <laughs> Love you, Janet. And uh, so anyway, uh, this was back, though, before, you know, when I was I had to buy it, it was expensive. So I said, hey, Golden, if you want to send me some Golden Matte Medium, I will definitely show. And I still do. <laughs> I love my Golden Matte Medium to this day. Um, <laughs> so uh, and again, I'm just flipping through here just so y'all can kind of see what's in each book. And um, I don't want any food or any of this stuff in my piece today. But um, so. I filled out the form and contacted them and you had to, you had to call them or email them and uh, give them your credit card for uh, shipping. So I think my shipping, you know, they, they call or they messaged me or emailed me and said, um, they said, well, we have some matte medium. We'll send you, you just have to give us, I think it was 25 bucks. It was 25 bucks for shipping. And I thought, well, good, you know, I'm going to get some matte medium. So I gave my credit card and about, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe later. I'm not sure exactly how long it's been. It, I mean, we're talking, I've been streaming 13 years. It had to be at least 10, 12 years ago when it was when I first started streaming. Now these got a lot of black and white. These have a lot of black and white uh, people. And, uh, you know, vintage looking photos. All right, now we got some. And this one's more ma a matte. Some of them are more matte. Some of them are more glossy. It doesn't really matter to me because I put the matte medium. And then at, at the end, when I'm completed with my collage, I put a gloss medium because I like it. I like my finished pieces to be glossy when all is said and done. Oh, wait, you know, a dinosaur. No, I'm going with, I think I'm going with the fish. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, so a while later, I got um, I got a delivery, and they sent me two cases, two big cases. I, I did an unboxing back in the day. This was on Ustream. It's not on my YouTube channel. Two cases. I think, how many was in a case? 24 in a case? Was it 12 or 24 in a case? I think it was 24 jars in the case. And um, I, I used those up in, you know, within a couple, two or three years, I've used them all up. But um, so anyway, I think Julie Topaz started calling me golden girl after that because of my golden matte medium. <laughs> so this one's a walk in the forest. It's got the eggs. and. <clears throat> mushrooms leaves i do like these leaves and that might go because i'm going to do kind of a fish and i might use that fern i might i might I might go with these ferns and i like these little tree stumps too maybe we'll go with that um <clears throat> Rachel, Rachel, while you're here, I don't know if Christopher's still here. So I didn't have your permission to show your, your drawing. Do I have your permission to show your drawing to Christopher? I had to wait because, you know, it's only right. You showed it to me in message. So I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to show it without your permission. <clears throat> and I don't know if Christopher's still here anyway. You might have already left. But uh, can I show your drawing to Christopher? Thank you, Julie. I sent you some stickers, by the way, Julie. <laughs> I'm waiting to see uh, the answer. Oh, I like the red. Maybe some poppies with those other flowers there. I'm going to pull these poppies. <clears throat> I just pull a whole bunch of stuff just to see what I might use. Yes, okay, I can. All right, let me go here now. Let me go over to my... Uh, 
Oh, there he is. Okay, he told on you. All right, so look, he, she drew you, Christopher. Let's see, is it bright enough? Do I need to brighten it up or is that good enough? Let me take a picture of it. I might want to brighten it up a little bit for Rachel. <laughs> she doesn't edit. She doesn't like, she's like Janet. She doesn't fix her photos for the best clarity. But uh, <laughs> hang on, let me get over here. And she just does them in a sketchbook. She just has them in a sketch thing. Let me crop the sketchbook thing down here. I knew right away who it was. Uh-oh, wait a minute. There we go. <clears throat> Look, Christopher. Isn't that good? <laughs> Janet, here we go. So I knew right away that it was Christopher from his from his uh, YouTube channel. I thought she did awesome. So, yeah, there's uh, Christopher that uh, Rachel drew. Where did Rachel go? Let's see what she say. Still refining it so the real Christopher can emerge. Isn't it good? I liked it. I thought it looks just like him. See? I know. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I told you, Rachel. I knew right away as soon as she showed it. Right, Deb? If y'all been to Christopher's channel, you know it looks like him. Oh, maybe a flying... No, because we're doing the fish. I keep forgetting. I, I'm really liking this flying fox. <laughs> but if I'm going to roll with a fish, I don't think he's... Maybe, I mean, he might be... Maybe the fox is getting attacked by a jellyfish. No, it's going to be too much. I like to, I like to really, uh, you know, be surprised how simple I like to try to keep my collages. But uh, so anyway, that one is the A Walk in the Forest. And the last one I pulled here was uh, this one, Amazing Things to Cut and Collage. And uh, let's see here. We're not getting a lot done today, guys. Sorry. Don't email me. Don't say, Dee Dee didn't do anything but do a bunch of giveaways today. Oh, well, you know, some days. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe uh, with the flowers, maybe we could throw in a little, uh, little uh, what's his name? <laughs> Van Gogh. Uh, I don't know. Probably not, but I'll, I'll cut out Van Gogh here. Maybe we'll put a big fish, uh, I mean, a big... Um, you know, octopus or something on his ear. <laughs> I like the way the backs of the, these books. Some of them have this pretty papers on the backs of the images. Not all of them do. This one and that nature one did. Temperance. I like this. That one might go. That might go with... Uh, the theme. Eh, I won't put a word on it. There's just so much I could pick from. This one has really got some good individual items. And the other, the nature one has good nature one, uh, items. I like some of this too. Maybe a little bit of this. Uh, I like a little bit. Look, see how this might go in here? Some of that corbels. <laughs> That's what they are. <clears throat> a lot of furniture now. I'm into the furniture. And look at all this ornamentation. Look at all those ornaments. This is a good one. This book right here. I like the jewels. More mushrooms. Fish. I, already pulled, I think I pulled enough fish. Pheasants and fowl. Doesn't this make y'all want to collage? Oh, wait. You would need a... You would need to get an arm in here. Maybe those arms. Let's see here. Let's just pull this page. 
Might need to make him have a... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. I think they're good. All right. So that one is the this one. When you look them up, look for this picture. All right. So let's see here what we got. I don't know if I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put uh, Van Gogh in here or not. But you want to put wax paper behind your page so you don't glue your pages shut. And let's see here. I want some of this. Let's see here. I want some. Uh, don't know if I need that watch there. I got this watch over here. I'm thinking this might be good up under here. Let's see. Torn edges will blend better with uh, your glue than um, cut edges. Although, if you're right on the edge, you, you can cut that. And none of this has been glued down. It's just tacked down with a uh, glue stick. Maybe down here. A little there. <clears throat> Maybe a little over here. I don't think that's enough of that. Yeah, a little bit down here. All right, and remember, I paint it all to make it cohesive. Acrylic paint. Gets everything, gets everything hopping. <laughs> All right, so we got that. That's a good start. Let's see, do I want any of these little? I picked these for the colors too. Now, if you're doing a focal image like this, cutting is fine because you're going right up to the edge. It's when you want to paint, you know, like something like that that you, torn that's better torn than cut so that it blends in better and i don't know why i got these huge scissors let's get the small yeah i love that pitch that drawing rachel that was awesome that you did of christopher <clears throat> like in that and once you get it laid out you can take a picture with your phone especially if you get lots going on take a picture with your phone so you uh like that one. can remember the layout if you don't think you can remember the layout take a picture and you can just go back to your phone and get it janet what are you going to do today and christopher what are you going to do today Janet comes on at 1. Christopher comes on at 2 every day, Monday through Friday, usually. Last week he was out of town a couple of days. Janet comes on just on Mondays at 1. Janet, what are you going to do today? Do you know? Do you know what you're going to do today? I'm hoping your back is feeling better, Janet. I think I want this. Maybe where I'm now. I think I want to cover that. I think I wanted to I I cut that leaf off there. And let's just maybe put that'll be glued down there. This can come right out of the middle of that. Right there. Uh, I think I'm going to carve Zentangles. <gasps> Oh, yes. I love carving. Carve, Janet, carve. My back's good fighting tigers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So look at all this pretty red and kind of that kind of olivey kind of green. I don't know if I want, uh, I'm not sure if I want Vincent in here or not. I want the I want the fish, and I want some of these. 
So let's cut a couple of these out. I hope we get to gluing today. Because <laughs> I'm going to want some of this around here. I want to bring some of architecture onto this side of the page. All right, let's see here. Because I'm not going to have to try to blend this with paint, this will be, you know, either painted around or it'll be on top. Um, I can fussy cut this. But anytime you have, you know, it's just best if you can tear any, especially backgrounds and stuff like this. This is all torn, torn, because the paint will blend it better. I mean, it'll blend better if it's a torn edge. Okay. Put it in caps. You're talking to me. I love the red orchids. Now, I don't know if they're, I don't know what kind of flower they are, Raul. I think they're on a calendar. I think they're on a calendar. And the door is Katherine Anderson's door. I love her doors. If you want doors, windows, that, uh, you know, that kind of thing, then her, uh, Katherine Anderson with a C, Katherine with a C on a, Amazon. See, I want some of this kind of thing going on. Don't know if I want it on the flower. I kind of like that. But then I'm going to have to bring it over to these as well. I might be getting a little busy. I don't know. That looks like hair. It looks like a comb over. Look, it looks like a comb over. <laughs> I do like it over here because that kind of brings the architecture over to the side. I'm not sure I want to cover all that up, but maybe. I don't know if I need it. I kind of like it on there, but <laughs> it looks too much like a hair or wave. Um, it's lost. It's lost that feeling. It's lost that architectural feeling. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna wait on that. All right, let's see. You just sometimes you don't know till you cut it out. But I do like the architecture, but I don't need it. Okay, let's go over to the, do I need a couple of little poppies here and there just to kind of, I don't want all the leaves and all the, I just want the poppies. <clears throat> we'll see. <laughs> uh, it looks like, like, <laughs> You know, so it just, and maybe nobody would have said that or noticed that, you know, but it's if you notice it and you don't like it and it's distracting to you, then, you know, you got to go with what is going to work for you. <laughs> I hope I get to paint. Maybe if I don't finish this today, maybe we'll pick it back. We'll pick up some collage back up on Wednesday. We'll see how far we get. But if we don't finish much of this today, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a collage Wednesday. Okay, because we didn't do much today. <laughs> Just be honest. You know, we didn't do a lot today. <laughs> Getting a little busy. I don't know. Uh, I kind of want at least one. That, that looks good. That makes those three there. It kind of ties that together. But I don't really like it right in the middle. Anything right in the middle bothers me. Of course, this this is not glued down. I can just, you know, I can move this over. I can move any of this around. Maybe this comes down here. I like that better. Okay. I don't think we need any more poppies. I do want some fish, and I'm thinking that green leaf. I like the green leaf, but... It's a little big. We got so much big stuff going on. We need some of these little things, some of these fish. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all this down, and then we'll go in with the fish and the octopus because I do want some of these, especially this page with the with the. Uh, I got to get some baby wipes. I think I just drug that through the matte medium over there. These. But let's glue this down and do a little bit of uh, painting in. And then we'll add some fish and stuff. Okay, so we're going to start with this. All right, let me move all this out of the way. 
<clears throat> Get some baby wipes. Yeah, I'm real excited on my next Barbie photography, but it's going to take a little bit for me to do it because um, I have to do a, a paint face. I have to do a complete costume. She's going to be in a costume. She's going to be a She's going to be somebody. So I did do the paint, the face makeup removal. I did the right makeup removal off of her. And uh, maybe I should show you what it looks like. I want you to see that. I want you to see her hair. And I don't want y'all, I don't want to give it away. Let me just cover everything up about her, but I'll show you her face. So there's face removal. Paint, you know, uh, take off the makeup. <clears throat> She's going to be something. All right, let's go. My matte medium. Let me get a brush out of my water. My, uh, my glue brushes are the only ones I keep in water. All right, let's see if we can get something done. <laughs> Thank you, BDI Beth. I love doing my Barbie photography. I love doing my Barbie photography and just for the... Just for the sake of uh, anybody that's here, throw down a couple man cards. <laughs> when I ta start talking too much Barbie, I throw down some man cards. Here's one that Christopher carved that one, and there's one from uh, Frank Salazar. <laughs> All right, so then I just use a card to scrape everything down. So let's go ahead. I think what I'm going to do is, let's go with moving this over. This this is glued down. This right here, this has all been glued down. So, all right, let's see how fast I can get this crack -a in here. So you want to put the matte medium on the base, on the back, and over the top. You don't think that you need all that matte medium, but if you don't want wrinkles, then you do. And then you smash it down with the card. Like that. Okay. Now I want my door and this one right about there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put every, and it, everything ends up being completely coated with matte medium, which you really want that because um, especially if you want to work on top of it with stuff, all right, so let's see. I want to keep that flower kind of in that idea there. Right about there. Okay, now let's put some over the top here. And smash this down. And you'll get a bunch like that. You can always just scrape it off to the side or scrape it back on the bowl and pick it back up. Okay. Right about there. Because I want this down here. And that I'm gonna have my uh oh, what I do with my little here it is. This is coming right there. Not looking at chat for a second so I can get this all glued down, guys. And this is a little thicker because this is from a calendar. But it'll all work. Oh, I don't want to glue that down. I'm going to put this up underneath of it. Just off the side of that door there. But make this flower look like it's growing out of that. All right. Let's... All right. They've got that base down that side. Do you, will you be watching Barbie on the bricks? No. Yeah. No, I don't really, I don't really care about Barbie <laughs> so much as, you know, I mean, yeah, I like making her do, I, I like telling Barbie what to do. I like bossing her around. 
Uh, all right, this is going to be... No, I probably won't go watch the movie. But <laughs> I really personally, I mean, I just don't really like going to the movies. I like I like certain movies, but I don't like going to the theaters anymore. I just don't like going to the theater. For one, and I know it's going to sound like I'm an old fogey, and I don't really mean to be. They're so dang loud. I mean, like, what? You think we can't hear? You have to do the movies so loud? Well, I know. I probably sound like an old fogey, but what do I want this? I wanted this right here. So, yeah, that's good. I think. Um, yeah, I don't enjoy it. No. I watch, I like certain movies, but I like to watch them at home on the, my big screen TV. You know? I got to pull out a little bit more matte medium. I'm just putting it on the little thing here. I agree. Yeah, it's like, when did they get so loud? <laughs> I know I didn't get old overnight, but like, and I haven't been to a movie for a while. I think the last one I went to was the last Star Trek movie. I think that was the last movie I went to the theater to see when that was before the virus. Hubster said, well, do you want to go see, because I love Indiana Jones. He goes, do you want to go see the new Indiana Jones movie? You know, when is it, a week or two, some whenever it comes out? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I said, you know, he's probably going to die. You know, Harrison Ford is not going to be making another Indiana Jones movie. This is going to be the last one. So they're going to kill him off. Y'all, what do y'all think? Y'all think they're going to kill him off, Indiana? Or do you think they'll just like park him in one of those slots in the Smithsonian or whatever it is? <laughs> you think they'll just park his park his butt in one of those slots in the? <laughs> what do y'all think? Do you think they'll kill him off? It's let's see. Sister says it's dark in the movies and the seats are comfy now. That means go to sleep, <laughs> sister. Uh -huh. All right, let me clean my brush a little here. All right, let's see. Did I get everything kind of glued down? I think I got everything based down. All right, so let's go ahead and dry this. <laughs> I know, but you know, CB, this is, he's not going to make another Indiana Jones after this one. I'm actually surprised he did this one. <laughs> you think, Janet? Oh my gosh, Janet. I love the third one that was Sean Connery. I think the first one and the third one. And was there two more after that when he was older? about if uh, Rebecca if you use fashion magazines in your collage they're the thinnest cheapest magazines there are and if you go to scrape them you go to scrape them with your card you got to be extra careful because the ink will smear off of them you got to be extra careful with the fashion magazines images when you smash them down to get the wrinkles out you already may know that I don't know yeah, so she, the one with Sean Connery. I love me some Sean. Man cave downstairs, we have a giant picture, like a three foot by four foot picture of Sean Connery playing poker. 
And um, I forget which which one of the 007. And on the other side, we have a giant Clint Eastwood. Well, it's the man cave. Okay. <clears throat> I think we got to start. Now, I think before I start cutting and gluing any fish and adding water or anything else, um, you know, put some stars in your know, space and whatever. Um, I want to go ahead and get this all painted in. So let me get another. I have no space. I wish I could see this room during a stream. There is like no room in here. Let me grab a grab a paint palette. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna glue that to the table. I ran my see. I ran the uh, that medium thing because those fish are those fish are cooked. <laughs> oh, all right, let's move that out of the way. All right, let's see what we can do here. Of course, we need black and white because we got to put a. We'll have to put some stars. Let me move my matte medium out of the way. Personally, I love watching movies at home in your PJs. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's see. A little black, a little red, a little maroon. I think I need some, and some gray. Let's get a little gray. I haven't used my palette knife for a while. Maybe we should get out the palette knife. There's some white paint. Here we go. See, I got, all, look. Got all my paints right here. Got my paints right here. Got a big mess. See, look, everything here. There's my markers. There we go. So everything's right here. Well, or right behind me on the table behind me. Okay. And then some red. Let's see. This is Santa red. I, I really kind of want the orange red. This one maybe, no. Hmm. What's this one? Mm, brilliant red. Yeah, I think I want that brilliant red and maybe a maroon. Let's get a maroon too. Burgundy. All right. Always shake your, shake these up because just sitting like, um uh even for a day or two they can separate the paint and you'll just get some oils out there so all right then i want to i think that's good to start with now let's let me see palette knife we haven't used a palette knife for my palette knife i didn't use a palette knife in a while of course i have watching these oh let's see okay oh thanks barbara all right, so let's see. And then we're going to add, a, we'll get this painted in, and then we're going to add some details with fish and waterfalls. I want to do a bucket of stars. Let me get my little thing. Put a little bit of white paint in here because I add the water to that. It's really the only time I add water to the paint is when I'm going to do the stars. And let's get a soft, fluffy brush. Um, yeah, these little, um, these little, uh, calligraphy brushes for flinging stars. Can't wait to see Janet carve. And so one of the nice things about having the matte medium over everything is... You do something like this. Let me rinse this out. And you don't want paint where you don't want it because it's completely coated with matte medium. You can just literally wipe all this away. Any place that you got paint you don't want it because it's coated with matte medium, you can just do that. Now, I might want some more stars and stuff down here, but I haven't finished painting in down here. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do a couple different things. Let me wrap up my, I don't know, I'll need this again here shortly. 
uh, to glue down my fish. So I'm just going to wrap that in a baby, damp baby wipe until I get back to it. Um, I'm going to need another brush. Let's see here. Let's get this little one here. Maybe. Okay. So some places I'm going to want to be more careful about um, where I put the paint. So oh, I, I probably should go ahead and dry those stars because otherwise I'm going to be smearing them. Hang on. Let's fix this right quick. I'm not done there. <clears throat> Design do overs. I have taken my camera off the off the, the yardstick. <laughs> and I've got film hanging the camera off a yardstick. And it it's uh it swivels because it's got books weighing it down. So it's like my own boom, my boom stick. <laughs> and I've taken it off of the uh yardstick and gone around the room, but I'm not good at that. I don't, I'm not. I might as crooked. It looks like, you know, I'm going to go upside down. I don't film good. I don't film well. But I have done a few. I have done a few to kind of little tours, but it's, you're, you're probably getting dizzy while you're trying to watch them. Uh, all right. So because that had that torn edge, you see how that blended in? That blended in much better than a cut edge. Okay. And then back in here, I think what I want is some gray. I think I'm going to want some gray back in here. Now, I don't want to lose the edge of my door there. But if I get it on there too much, I can just, because it's got the matte medium, I can go in here and, you know, take away paint. And I got my little partial watch showing here so I can put my watch hands. Y'all know I like to put watch hands. I like to do elements of time. Let's do a little bit of blend in that right there. Yeah, I don't want it on this door. <clears throat> so I kind of go back and forth between the brush and my finger to kind of blend with my finger. Put it in caps. Let's see. Hi, Kathy Arbor. I do stop gardening for... Oh, yeah. If y'all don't follow Kathy Arbor on uh, Instagram, she has stunning garden pictures. I mean, I like my garden pictures, but Kathy Arbor has, like, magazine quality garden pictures. So y'all need to follow her on IG. Let's see, I'm going to want more black down in here. So let's go ahead and just kind of blend this in right in here a little. And then I want to go back in with the black. And this is why you have the wax paper, so that when you go off the edge, you don't, if if you uh, went off the edge like this where there's no wax paper, you're going to glue your pages shut. So let's go ahead and blend this some of this in like this. We'll pull that up like that. Maybe not quite that far. There we go. Just talking out loud, you know. <laughs> and I got my baby wipe to, you know, remove wherever I don't want it. This is where I'm in my head going, shh, Once I get all the edges done, I can take the wax paper away. Let's 
See how it's starting to all go together? Oh, thank you, Raul. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. You have some, you have a sticker already coming to you, by the way. I sent you a sticker out, Raul, last week. <laughs> you have a sticker on the way, Raul. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Hopefully it gets to you, you know. That's the thing, sending things to Spain and then CK in Mexico. I think, Raul, I think you finally got one of your happy mails. I don't know. I've sent you out, I think, three different happy mails. I know you got at least one of them. But like uh, CK Chris in Mexico, it took three months for her to get a letter, like an envelope letter. It's like, what the... Let's just kind of put a little edge on there just to get it. I might want a little bit more of a hill here. Let's build, let's build up a little hill here maybe. Thank you, Pixie Cora. <clears throat> Thanks, Raul, for supporting the channel. Most welcome to you. Love this. Always worth the wait. Okay. <laughs> well, I did send you out a sticker. All right. So now let's see. I want, let's see. I want black down here. Let's go ahead and get some black down in here. I just want to get rid of the uh, white edges. And I want to also be able to remove my um wax paper shortly I think I'll get rid of that don't be afraid to paint out anything if you see something you don't think oh, I'm not sure I like that or add something to it like I'm gonna paint it maybe paint back in a stem right here later and I'm going to get out my palette knife and do some texturing here in a minute I'm going to do that with some um, palette knife in there. <clears throat> See how that's kind of fluffy looking? You know, all kind of, you know, like that. <laughs> oh. Add some more texture over here. And some more in here. Maybe a little more white. Across here. I don't know. Maybe we'll have some. I don't know if we want water, waterfalls. I, I don't know. Y'all know I like all that stuff. Okay. All right. Let's get a gray mountain in here.
Mm, maybe a little less. Maybe a little bit more. That, a little bit more of this. Not so, just one little hill. There we go, that's better. All right. All right, I've got our base in there. Uh, thank you, Debbie Bruce. Thanks, guys. Think we can get something done here in about 30 minutes? <laughs> Less than 30 minutes? And maybe 20? So we've got our watch here, so a little bit of watch hands will probably be coming out of there somehow. All right, now I think back in here, I'm going to want, I'm going to want something kind of going on. I'm going to want a little planet and a little shooting star back in this area. So let's just go ahead and get a little something, something going on in here. Oops. Some kind of cloud stuff or something, nebula, some kind of nebulization back in there. Uh, not too much. That might be a little much. Let's see. Something like that, maybe. That's good. Maybe have some clouds kind of creeping out. But we'll see. I want to get the fish in there. Okay, I am going to need a little bit of green. Because I'm going to have to do a little bit of touch-up around those flowers. Let's see. Let me get a couple of shades here, maybe. A moss green. Might just be able to do with this little bit of the color I got here. Let's see. I don't know if I need any yellow. Probably need a little yellow ochre. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Let's see. And if y'all want to practice blending colors, get a magazine like one of the Somerset Studios or one of the art magazines. And whether you cut it up or not, you know, you've, you've been around when we've cut magazines up and broke them down into smaller magazines. Or you could just glue a bunch of them together. Like I have some that are glued like three magazines glued together. And you can um, go in and try to blend things, match things and blend things. It's a great way to practice. Uh, blending and matching colors is with uh, magazines because there's so much color and images in a magazine that you can uh, get a lot of uh, practice blending and mixing colors with magazines. Okay, so let's add a little bit of more light one coming down this way, just a little. That blended into that tree stump there. Like it's kind of growing out of that tree. So maybe let's add a little bit more. Um, branchy looking stuff, maybe. <clears throat> you might need a little yellow in there. Oh, thanks, Bacola, for linking. All right, I want to put a little bit of stars in here. And maybe a little in there. Maybe a little over there. Let's just go ahead and get out our bucket of stars. Add a little bit of stars here and there. Because we're going to put fish on top pretty soon. Oh, that's too much. Tap off the excess. Too much right there. Too much. More tapping. The more you tap, the less paint is in your brush. And the smaller the little stars or whatever dots you're trying to do. Water, water, fall, spray, or I think 
getting off the flowers. <clears throat> so we'll see how far we get. I don't know that we're going to finish this today, but I, I'm going to do um, a Wednesday collage day. So we'll pick this back up and maybe start another one, you know. Do you use white or gray to make the clouds? Um, a little mixture of both. This right here, I did gray because I had it right here. <laughs> but I'll do, I can, you can do both. Uh, all right, I think I've got enough. I can remove this now that I'm not going to glue them to shut. You know, glue my pages shut. So I'll move the wax paper. And you can do um, clouds with. Well, I got to show you. We'll see. <laughs> I'm have time to do another demo. Now, the palette knife. Let me clean this brush out. I don't know if I want some gray and red. Let's see. Let's, let's see what happens. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my palette knife here and just kind of start. Well, I picked up some green, too. Well, you know what? That's okay. kind of like a little bit of that green in there, that little mossy green back there. <clears throat> So we'll do a little bit of texturing back in here. Not that much. There we go. That's better. But you can get some cool textures with your palette knife. Just to give some more stuff going on, you know. Maybe a little bit of light. Just a tiny. And remember, I got to add some fish to this, but this is going to be behind the fish. So I want to kind of get, you know, some of this done back in here. All right, let's see. Maybe a little bit of, I could do a little splash going on there. Maybe a little splash, something. Because we're going to have the fish. So let's make sure there's a little bit of water action somewhere in here. Okay, now let's see. And I could get a Posca too, but I'm gonna just try to get a little bit of <clears throat> okay, now let's go back over here to this gray because back in here is where I'm going to want. I'm going to pick up some black and, well, maybe some black, white, and gray. Just pick up a bunch of little colors on there. And let's see if we can get some texture on these hills back in here. Not to, just to get so it's not flat. I don't know who's texting me. I can't answer right now if it's one of y'all. Unless it's Janet. Is it Janet? No, I think it's Rachel. Hang on, Rachel. <laughs> Let me get this done. I'm, I'm running out of time. I only got like 15 minutes and we're not even near done. So. All right. Just a little bit of that green in there. So kind of going back and forth between my fingers and the palette knife. Get some textures. Maybe right in there. Get rid of that black right there. <clears throat> Oops, too much. There. Just give it something else, you know. Let's go in here with Put some black in there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want water coming down there. Or... Just kind of take your time and play with what, you know, whatever's there. I want more black behind here. <clears throat> All right, let me get my brush. I want a little black. Okay, a little more gray right here. <clears throat> Just kind of imagine a landscape. He's going behind that door there. <laughs> um, just posting latest on Facebook of original photos as well. Okay. So I don't have to look anything up, Rachel, right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run out of time, so let me, I'm going to go quickly wash my hands a little bit and get a fresh baby wipe, because I'm going to cut out those some of those fish. Hang on. Look out, baby. Look out. All right. I do need to do um, the stem over here, though. Let's see if I can. Probably should get some yellow out. I don't want this to be. darker in here maybe <clears throat> need some yellow I should get out the yellow okay <clears throat> all right now I've got to do something here because I don't like the way this I'm gonna need some kind of clouds or something coming across because I don't like where this little tangents going right here it looks like a pac-man mouth <laughs> Or I can put some fish going right there, but it needs a break, right? It needs some kind of a break right here, you know? <laughs> I'll put some more things going across there. Because I don't want that to be a line right there. Let's see if I can lighten this in here. I want there to be a separation, but I don't want it to be a line. <laughs> we'll put something there. <laughs> uh, do I, let's see. Well, do I like it because it only takes me? Um, I'm not sure what Julie's talking about. All right. We might just put something else there because I'm not liking either one. Uh, it needs some. Uh, let's get a little bit of gold out. Just a little separation. All right, we'll see. I think we've got some fish going to go across there. <laughs> um, maybe I should get a tan color. Maybe. Let's see the exact color I'm wanting. Here we go.
There might be a little scent or something in there. Okay, that's better. Needs a little, let's see, maybe a little gold. And it needs a little stem, something coming down there. There we go, that's better. Needs something coming off that flower. <clears throat> Same thing I think up here, although I don't want to cover up this watch because I'm going to have the, the watch hands coming out there, so i got to kind of be careful there. So you can just fussy play with this a lot. Let's see, a little bump on the... <laughs> I'm going to put some fish and stuff swimming through. Okay, I got to... Let's go ahead and let this sit for a second while I cut out some... Uh, cut out some of those fish. And my brush. There's my fish. Oh, let's see what we got over here. I think I'm going to want this big starfish. And I think I'm going to want this thing. It's just very alien esque. This. And I really like him. And so the thing about these kind of things, if you don't have to cut each one of those out you can get close and then you can fussy paint in you can fussy paint instead of fussy cut so i'm going to get pretty close but um it also gives you gives your piece a little more stability instead of a bunch of stringy like legs here they'll be glued down in chunks you know bigger pieces and then you can paint in there with a little brush rather than um cutting fussy cutting you can fussy paint so I'll show you that here. Let's see. I'm not even sure where I'm going to put him yet, but but you got to be careful because those line cut lines will show in collage. So you know it's kind of better to tear if you can. But you know, it just depends on where you're putting it. I'm going to just try to paint him in a little bit. And then get as close as I can to cutting out the rest. And it depends on if he's going to go over the top of something or behind something. I want I wanted all these little fish and sea creatures to kind of be floating on top. And then we can maybe put some water in there. I don't think we're going to finish this today. We'll finish it on Wednesday and maybe do some more collages on Wednesday. So let's cut out two or three things, a couple more fish, and just kind of play with laying them out a little bit. So any of the white pieces that you see that are left over, I'll just paint them in with paint. So I don't have to fussy cut all in there. And I'm not sure where he's going either. It's getting a little bit leaning in this way. What are you doing this way? Like part of the flower. Maybe. Maybe part of the flower. 
but then I don't like where it's knocking into this. We'll see. All right, let me cut out a few more items. <clears throat> Hope y'all enjoyed today, though, talking a little bit about art books and observing paintings and getting ideas. We didn't explore that very much, but I didn't get a lot of feedback. So I thought maybe I might have been bored with that. So I said, well, oh, let's just move on. <clears throat> but I like to, you know, throw out new things that we hadn't really thought about or taught, well, thought about, talked about much. And uh, to give you more ideas, as y'all know, I'm all about the ideas. He's a little big. I might have to paint him down. I don't know. I might be getting too many big items. Do you know what I mean? These are kind of big. <laughs> oh, I might have to be cutting. Let me let me get a bunch of little fish. And, uh, but I do like these octopi and squid and some of these sea um, starfish and stuff. Maybe between now and Wednesday, I'll cut out a bunch of fish and stuff for us to play with. I won't glue anything down. I'll wait till wait till Wednesday and we'll finish it. You know. See, it's kind of big. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm going to need some of these little ones. I'll fussy cut these out. And then we'll have time on Wednesday to arrange. Do you have any questions or anything? These are not cut out. They're not going to look like that. But we'll keep the starfish page here. And... <clears throat> Yeah, I did. Um, I did a, a ocean themed for Inktober one year. See, I'm thinking maybe this one instead of this big one. They're the same. It's just that maybe this this one will be better size wise. So I'll have them both cut out by next week. I mean by Wednesday. And now let's see some of the fish. Do a quick because I'm going to want them kind of you know working their way across the page. Maybe the starfish could go in here somewhere, like right in there. I'm not sure where I want these guys yet. So I have a couple of fish in here. Maybe coming off the page, coming into the page. I'm not sure about this guy yet. Not sure we need him. We may not need him. <laughs> oh, I know it. Anybody else coming in? So let's see. Those fish. And then maybe... I like this blue one. I may be getting too many other colors. I kind of want to keep it these yellowy, orangey colors. Let's see, maybe I'll have one coming out from behind. Let's 
maybe one will be coming out from behind this flower here. You know, just half of them showing. Uh, and then maybe one of these little, little curled up octopuses here. Maybe he can be down in here somewhere too. Like maybe in front of that starfish and then have this little starfish kind of over that little hump thing there. Is it coming along? I think it's coming along. Maybe a couple shells even because I'm liking these colors. Liking those colors. I'll cut out a bunch of stuff. I'll cut out a bunch of stuff before Wednesday. Maybe this can kind of go across. I don't like to go across the page, but, you know, sometimes. The problem with going across the page, unless you cut it and glue it really close to the edge, opening and closing and opening and closing the book, it'll start tearing your image. All right. So you kind of see where we're going, right? I might like this octopus, too. Maybe on that flower. Or on one of the flowers. Somewhere in there. All right. So we got a lot more stuff here that we'll use on. Uh, I'm just going to kind of. Well, I don't want to put it there. Let's. Uh, let's just. Uh, I'll figure out how to close the book. <laughs> but I want to keep. I want to keep all this stuff handy. So that on Wednesday. We can come back to it. All right, guys. Any questions? Before we go. Let me look at chat for a minute. I like when we have a cliffhanger part two. <laughs> yeah, we got a cliffhanger today. <laughs> so uh, I might take a picture of this, like this, for um, a, 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 what do you call it, a thumbnail? Let's put a piece like this. What do y'all think? That'll make a good thumbnail. Not so much yellow in the background like that. And maybe just some different little things up in here. <clears throat> Have a couple paints rolling around like that. Does that look like a good thumbnail? Maybe it here. Let's do this. There. Because I wanted to I want you to know that it's part two is coming up. <laughs> you know, if I leave you hanging, we can leave it hanging like this. This could be the thumbnail. And don't forget, guys, to check out the um, community tab. Let me see what Rachel is saying here, too. I missed. Uh, the community tab has new books posted. Let's move this over. Let me get a thumbnail here. Um, let's see. Did Rachel want something important? <laughs> I don't know. Mm, Tina did something. Do you see your happy? Okay, sorry. You're welcome, Tina. She got her happy mail. Rachel sent. Oh, she said, Who, whose cat is this, Rachel? You didn't see. You didn't say whose cat. But she drew this cat here. Awesome, Rachel. I still like the Christopher picture. I like the Christopher picture. <laughs> uh, okay so anyway guys i hope y'all had fun i made a note to armadillo sticker we'll put that up here um and i guess we'll head out i hope y'all enjoyed today and we will continue our collage on uh i'll, I'll call it part one <laughs> collage uh collage part one so thanks dot We'll see y'all at Janet's in about an hour and hope y'all have a great rest of your day. And uh, there comes Hubster. You're going to hear the garage door open now. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.